Yeah. I can't take no loss. Huh. I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Yeah. Run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my pen ready. Myself, bad, my selfish thing, damn patty. Gotta keep on chugging. Yeah. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed heavy. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get a hit, so bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up. I'm trying to get an NFT to get them when they're handed. Crypto, learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you're paying attention. So no, I can't miss that. Moving. MVP, I got the record. I might have to throw something. Big jumper worthy. They gon' have to retire my jersey early. Whole crew coming. Had to work something, cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that.
What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Frankie Candles live stream every single weekday right here at 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guys, I tried to get the stream fixed here. I got BJ in the studio. He tried to fix our live stream so I could roll the intro and have our overlays and all that. And uh, the problem seems to be uh, a bit worse than we realized. Uh, so no intro for probably uh, another day. It'll probably be fixed by tomorrow. But guys, uh, speaking of things that are broken, uh, what uh, what is going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin has been uh, quite a bit bipolar as we got this big move to the upside and then an absolute dump eating up all those gains that we just made. Uh, yeah, pretty bipolar price action, if you ask me. Uh, what is going on? Why are we dumping? Where are we headed? We're going to be talking about it all tonight. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin. I'm going to be showing you guys the key levels, which, uh, if you guys remember the key levels from yesterday's stream or any of the streams we've done in the past couple of weeks, uh, they are all very, very, very strong. And uh, uh, they've been kind of saving our butts here uh, because we are just bing bonging around in these two value areas that we've been looking at. And we're going to be talking about all that today. I'm going to let you guys know if I think we're going to continue lower or if this was just some kind of a crazy dump. I know there's a lot of people talking about the Mount Gox dumping, uh, which maybe that is what going what's going on. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, uh, figure out with accuracy what exactly causes these massive dumps. If it's not something like, a, you know, a short squeeze or a long squeeze or something that you can actually uh, find evidence for. Uh, but what, uh, whatever it wound up being, we're going to figure out if this is going to continue to the downside or if we're going to get a pretty strong bounce uh, and continue to the upside. We're going to be taking a look at those key levels, and then we're going to be taking a look at those altcoins, guys. We're going to be covering it all. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, guys, uh, don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Last night, we got so close to that like goal of 550 likes. We got 508 people in here right now. Uh, so smash that like button. If you guys want to spin that wheel of pain of pleasure, we'll spin it. If we get 550 likes, I'll spin that wheel 15 times. And maybe we'll just go ahead and add one of these Frankie Candles hats uh, to the uh, giveaways uh, that we will be announcing uh, hopefully on Friday. Uh, but guys, tomorrow's my birthday. Maybe we should pick the winners on my birthday. I don't know. Uh, but don't forget to smash that like button. And without further ado... Let's go ahead and say what's up to the Mafia in chat. What is going on? Oh, God, you guys are already going, already going nuts here. Uh, let's see. Starting off strong. We got Thesis himself. He says, let's go. Shout out to Thesis. Hey, Thesis, uh, it dumped, but I didn't see any yellow Xs, my dude. Uh, you might have uh, you might have gotten those yellow Xs completely exiled off the charts. Uh, yeah, because I'm surprised the yellow X did not pop up, pop up on that dump. Uh, shout out to Cozy Babe said, Frankie, I need that playlist, though. It was fire. Uh, yeah, we got some, uh, we got a bunch of different songs playing now in the waiting room. Uh, maybe we will drop in the Discord. We'll drop, like, a little playlist. Uh, funny thing is, all of this music is, like, royalty-free music. This is not even, like, uh, you know, this is, like, the music that you can play without getting copyright strikes. Uh, and it's still super fire. So uh, maybe we'll drop that playlist in the chat uh, or in the Discord at some point. Uh, but shout out to Cozy Babe. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Creighton C. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Hannah King. Always in the house. What is going on, Hannah King? Hope you're doing well. Shout out to Bubba's Crypto. Shout out to Bubba's. Was, uh, uh, Bubba's was saying yesterday, uh, commented on the live stream and said, hey, man, I miss getting these live. Uh, and hey, Bubba's, I guess you missed it enough to pop back in here. I actually responded to that comment. I don't know if you saw. Shout out to Grizzly. Thank you for being here. Says, what way we going, Frankie? Grizzly, we're going to be talking about it in a second. And I have a feeling that Grizzly might favor a move to the downside. Huh? Huh? Get it? Dad jokes? Let's go. Uh, shout out to you, man. Shout out to French Toaster. Shout out to Creators Crypto. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Hope E, as always, an OG of the Candle Mafia. Thank you for being here. Crypto 101. We got Chris in the house, Daryl in the house, and we got Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve chilling in the Mafia chat room. Let's get it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Shout out Brad Guy Dell. Thank you for being here, bro. Absolute OG of the channel, like a day one OG. So shout out to Brad Guy Dell. Uh, let's see, let's get a couple more people in here. We got Vic Alec. What is going on, bro? Honda Man, as always, good to see you, bro. Uh, let's see, let's see. Dave Digital says, so deep. I don't know what that means. Uh, but shout out to Dave Digital and shout out to Hannah King. Thank you so much for that super chat. Says, I chose a really bad time to be at the dentist. Got stopped out of my lung. I always knew the dentist was bad luck. Now I have proof. I'll tell you this. Uh, in New York, I had a pretty good dentist. Uh, but I hate the dentists. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I was blessed uh, with pretty good uh, teeth genetics. Uh, but 
Uh, yeah, the dentist is uh, never, never a fun thing to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. I just think of the dentist gives me the goosebumps. Oh, God. The worst thing ever. Uh, but shout out to all the dentists out there. We still love you. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Chemistry Bro. Shout out to Tony D. Rob the Crypto Snob. Tyler Jordan. Crypto Anon. Crypto Billy. Uh, uh, Captain Kirk. Deep Petty Crypto. All of our wonderful mods. Shout out to you guys. Crypto Billy. I don't know if I said Crypto Billy, but shout out to all our mods, guys. Show our mods some love in chat. We got 667 people in here. So without further ado, guys, we cannot leave the people waiting. So let's go ahead and jump on into the charts. Here we are on the Bitkeen, the Bitkeen four-hour chart. Uh, here we are on the Bitcoin four-hour chart. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Gray Wolf says, I love the dentist. <sighs> Tony D, let's go ahead and call the police on Gray Wolf. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not with that. Uh, I'm just kidding, Gray Wolf. We still love you. Uh, hey, everybody's into, you know, some people, are, you know, I'm into some weird stuff too. Uh, dentist is not one of those things, but uh, hey, hey, to each his own. Uh, uh, yeah, shout out to Rob. Uh, let's see, let's see. Rob ripping out the, the gibberish. Uh, Rob, guys, before we start, shout out to Darren Does Things and Metabytes. I see you guys in here, AZTV. Uh, but guys, Rob the Crypto Snob made a joke yesterday saying that he was like drinking uh, fermented hop juice or something. And I was like, what the heck is that? He said it was healthy. I'm like, that's some weird, like, uh, kombucha stuff uh turned out it was a beer joke guys uh and i was just slow uh, uh slow to get that one <laughs> shout out to rob the crypto stop he dm me he's like you didn't get the fermented hops joke did you and i was like dude i didn't uh but it's pretty funny uh when i'm on live guys sometimes i read the chat and i have so many things running through my head that it's hard to look into things past the surface level uh but shout out to rob the crypto snob that was a funny dad joke i would have laughed at it if i got it uh but i didn't uh but let's go <laughs> yeah we got frank yeah, I'm sure you guys were cracking up at that point. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump on in here and see what is going on. <gasps> oh, my God. Bitcoin's dumping. The world's on fire, guys. What is going to happen here? Are we going to zero? Uh, uh, what's going on here, right? Uh, well, first off, uh, we did get that massive big move up this morning. Uh, if you guys caught my morning market update that I posted uh, earlier today, uh, we kind of covered, you know, what made that move or what caused that move to the upside uh, and kind of what we were looking at yesterday that was indicating that move. And we're going to cover that in just a second. But first, I want to go over to the higher time frames. And I kind of want to warn you guys, not warn you, but I do want to just bring up again, excuse me, this red dot on the weekly time frame, guys. Now, again, we got some moves up here in the short term, right? And uh, we got now we're, now we're getting like that midweek reversal. Uh, but uh, this red dot on the weekly time frame would be more leaning towards a continued move to the downside here, guys. Uh, but again, you want to understand that in the shorter term, right? These do take time to play out, right? Uh, you know, there were a lot of bearish signals we were looking at uh, back when we were uh, chilling up here at about 25k. When we were expecting this move to the downside, and it took a little while for these bearish signals to play out, but eventually they did play. Uh, so we're kind of in the same situation here with the weekly. We got the weekly red dot. We got the six-day red dot confirmed, uh, and then the five-day red dot confirmed as well, but that VWAP is cruising back to the upside. Uh, but you do just want to realize here, guys, that weekly red dot is printing. Um, if that confirms, we may see some continued downside, but again, it's going to take time to see that stuff play out. Uh, but moving down to the lower time frames, you can see here... VWAP, rolling back to the upside on your three-day. Your two-day VWAP is also rolling back to the upside, and your daily green dot has print or is printing. Has not confirmed, uh, but it is printing, likely to confirm here in about two hours and two minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, but speaking of this green dot on the daily, if you guys remember from yesterday, I should probably start clipping this stuff uh, uh, so we can actually uh, watch it. Shout out to uh, Paper Beats Rock. Says, I smell manipulation with a little pig nose. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. Uh, but, uh, you know, we were looking at this daily green dot that wasn't printing yesterday during the stream. However, uh, we were looking, uh, you guys will remember, right? We were looking at this 90-minute money flow crossover, right? And uh, we were saying, as we were getting this money flow crossover on the 90-minute, uh, I was saying, hey, not only are we getting this 90-minute money flow crossover as we started to pump to the upside, I mean, what was it, probably like six or, uh, yeah, probably, uh, you know, around this candle, and this candle was basically uh, where we were kind of looking at uh, the charts yesterday on the stream, and we had that 90-minute money flow crossover, which was making me feel pretty good about a continued move to the upside for one reason and one reason in specific, and that was the fact that we had the VWAP rolling up on the daily time frame. And that's why we were saying 
if we were able to get that green dot, which to be 100% honest, didn't look like it was going to happen yesterday. I thought we may have to even wait another day, but I was saying by chance if we were to get that green dot on the daily, it would be in beautiful confluence with that 90-minute money flow crossover because if you guys watch the show, you will know that a lot of times – when you get that daily green dot and you have money flow crossovers into the green, in this case, or if you have a daily red dot, you could do the same thing with the money flow crossovers into the red. Uh, it just depends on which way the price is going. Uh, but when you have a green dot specifically, uh, when you come down to these lower time frames, like the one hour and the 90 minute, and you can get those money flow crossovers at the same time as that green dot, a lot of times that can give you a big move to the upside. And then to our surprise, uh, we woke up this morning and we had that big pump to the upside. We had the green dot on the daily. And once again, the higher time frame green dot with the money flow crossover on the lower time frame strategy plays out in beautiful, beautiful manner here. Uh, uh, and again, you know, if you just look at that money flow crossover on the 90 minute, I am literally to the dollar or not to the dollar, but, uh, you know, to the pixel on that 90 minute money flow crossover, guys. It was on the last candle before we started pumping uh you got that money flow crossover so again do you guys ever see those green dots or red dots on the daily it's always something i look at right so uh you know if i go to the daily time frame i see a red dot i always just naturally i'm like let me see what the one hour is doing let me see what the 90 minutes do and do we have money flow crossovers in sync with that green or red dot and again a lot of times when they're when they are synced up like that and you do have that confluence it does cause a big move up so that is what caused me to hold my long trade up for the massive, massive second leg up here uh, to get uh, collect some more gains there? Uh, but then they were just quickly eaten up all the way back down to the bottom of this range. Uh, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that in a second. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys because this is what we were talking about yesterday. Um, and, I, and I want you guys to start seeing this stuff, right? So next time you see a red dot or a green dot on the daily, head to the one hour, head to the 90 minute. Uh, check down these some of these lower time frames. See what money flows doing see if you could find confluence and maybe don't even trade it the first time right just test it out see if it plays uh put a vertical line and see you know uh, right on the vertical line hey after we get this money flow crossover price will go up and then see if you were right or wrong go back go back and check the next day see if you were right uh and then you could just kind of and you could even go back in time and just back test this uh because obviously if you just back test the money flow crossovers uh 90 minute money flow crossover big move to the upside money flow crossover into the red big move to the downside kind of got a big rebound there but then you continue down uh so anytime you get these money flow crossovers you got one right here bang to the upside you got one down here bang to the downside money flow crossover into the red now obviously you don't just want to trade this blindly right it, it, when you look at it in hindsight it looks like really easy like oh next time i get a money flow crossover on the 90 minute i'm just gonna long and then get a big rip Granted, could you make money like that? I mean, you probably could, uh, but definitely not a recommended way to trade. You want to actually find uh, legitimate technical entries for these trades. Uh, you don't just want to blindly trade the money flow, but you can imagine uh, by taking this into account how much confluence this can add, especially when you have something like a daily green dot. So I just wanted to cover that, guys. Keep an eye out for these setups because they do oftentimes play out in a big way. Shout out to Blanchard's Bees and Cryptid Bees in the house at the same time. I'm picturing uh, Blanchard's Bees on just two phones right here, uh, just buzzing back and forth in the chat. Shout out to Blanchard's Bees. Thank you for being here. Crypto Anon tuning in. What is going on, bro? Says that's why you always pull profits off the table. Absolutely, Crypto Anon. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, let me see. Can I can I can I pin that? I'm about to pin it, bro. Uh, and there you go. Crypto Anon's pinned to the top of the chat. Let's go. Uh, but let's continue on here, guys. I just wanted to point out that daily 90 minute uh, and one hour kind of setup there because it really was a beautiful, beautiful setup, especially on that 90 minute uh, crossover happening right on that last red candle before the giant move up. Absolutely textbook. But Let's continue on here. Taking a look at our money flow on the daily is curving back to the upside. A little too early to, uh, you know, kind of take anything away from this. But this would be a little bit more bullish in my case, uh, or in my opinion. Uh, but really not getting excited until we start to see a crossover. Because as we know, this could easily get rejected if we wind up getting a red dot quickly. Uh, we could wind up seeing that money flow start to roll back out. But it is technically headed in the right direction. Uh, not only on a local level, where you have the curvature here, but you are technically making a higher low on this red wave uh, from back down here on this red wave. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then that green dot is likely going to confirm 
excuse me, in about a uh, $1.56, I was going to say. An hour and 56 minutes, that is likely to confirm. Taking a look at your 16-hour VWAP, starting to roll over to the downside here, but your money flow crossed over into the green. Uh, so kind of mixed signals on the 16-hour. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on. Taking a look at the 12-hour, same story there as the 16-hour. Now your 10-hour uh, and your 8-hour are starting to cool off here, looking for red dots. Uh, and these money flow crossovers, guys, I will say, on the 8 and 10-hour and the 12-hour uh, and the 16-hour, these are, uh, you know... I, I am taking these, not with a grain of salt, but I am watching these closely because, uh, you know, if this was just some kind of random pump that we got here and we are going to continue to the downside, again, remembering that we have that weekly red dot printing on the uh, weekly time frame, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, remembering that we have this, this could cause more downside. So uh, I am watching these money flow crossovers very, very closely because they may potentially be, uh, you know, little fake out crossovers to the down, uh, to the upside, right? So we may be able to get those to come back over into the red uh coming back over to our five and four hour red dots are printing which obviously was basically the start of this big move to the downside uh money flow starting to roll back out here on the four hour uh, i was looking at this on the morning market update wasn't really, you know, it was, it's still technically kind of headed in the right direction, but this doesn't look good as it's coming right back out here. Uh, so kind of, you know, mixed signal there as well. Uh, you know, still technically could make a higher low here, but that red dot printing uh, could give us a little bit more downside. But again, we're going to get a little deeper into that on the lower time frames. Two hour red dot confirmed. VWAP kind of just chilling there. Money flow still kind of cruising up. Uh, or I'm sorry, that was the three hour. Two hour money flows in the green. VWAP coming up nicely. Uh, well, I don't know if I call that nicely, but VWAP coming back up towards that zero line. Uh, big bounce here, guys, is kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, this is kind of what I want to look at. You know, just giant wicks to the downside. They all got eaten up by the bulls uh, pretty quickly, right? Because uh, let's go ahead and turn on our levels here and just get some context into what has actually happened. I'm going to go ahead and hide this uh, little range here. I'm going to get rid of uh, this little line here, which was just marking out that four-hour bullish divergence that we got before the big move to the upside. Uh, and again, guys, it's about confluence, right? And, and finding multiple levels of confirmation, right? So we not only did we have that 90-minute money flow crossover with the daily green dot, but we also had the four-hour bull div. We were also at an interesting level of support amongst other things, right? So it's not just like I saw that, uh, you know, to get into the long trades that I entered yesterday, uh, like the ETH long that we were in that I showed yesterday on the stream uh, that wound up being up uh, pretty, pretty big, uh, you know, that was uh, kind of what was getting us into those trades was the four-hour bull div. Uh, you know, amongst other things, we were at an interesting level of uh, support. We were at the lows of our volume profile here, expecting a bounce to the upside. And then as I was in that trade, I saw the daily green dot with that 90-minute money flow crossover. And that's what uh, that's kind of what gave me the confidence to hold the trade, uh, you know, past our original scalp level, which I believe was just to the POC uh, or potentially, I'd have to check, or potentially to this value area high, uh, but that's basically what gave me, I think it was the POC, that's what gave me the confidence to hold my trade overnight, hoping that that money flow crossover with that green dot on the daily would give us that continued move up, which it did. So uh, it's all about having multiple levels of confluence, right? Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these lines just to clean some stuff up. But again, guys, basically what we're looking at here is two major value areas. We're just looking at two major ranges, right? We have this gold range, which is a value area in itself. If you are new here and you don't know what the volume profiles are, please either go to my channel. I'm not even trying to get the views. If you don't like the way I teach or you don't like the way I explain things, then just YouTube volume profile, Google volume profile, and learn it from where you learn best. But study this trading tool because it is one of the most powerful tools you can use when trading. And if you watch this channel, you'll know exactly why and why we use it every single day. Um, but... Uh, for those of you who don't know, the value area is just this gold box right here, which essentially is a range, right? All it is is a range of price action with the lows of the range, which is called the value area low, and the highs of the range called the value area high. Pretty self-explanatory. And then in the middle, typically you do have a level, which is called the point of control, which is the area where the most volume was transacted, right? So the point of control is where the most volume was transacted. The value area high and the value area low are the highs and lows of your range. This gives you three key levels 
to be able to trade. It gives you context into the range that you're looking at so you can know, hey, I'm at a level of support here. I'm at the lows of the range. Now I know, hey, I know we're likely to go back up to that value area high once we're at that value area low. So you can look at longs at the value area low and you can look for shorts at the value area high. So just a quick little breakdown of the value areas and what they are. But basically what we have here is a Value area right here between about $26,860 and about $28,800 or 28.8K. That is one value area in gold. And then we have another value area up here shaded in white with its own value area low, which is basically at the value area high of the previous range. These are basically the same level, um, but your value area low, again, coming in at 28.8K. Your point of control of that range is right here coming in at about 30K. And then your value area high of that range is coming in at about $31,200. So you just have two ranges here. We know that when you break the top of this range, the value area high of this gold range, we know that it is likely if we can hold support within the white box, with, which, which, within this white range here, break out of the gold range, hold support on the value area low of the white range, we are likely going to get a move up to our point of control. And that is exactly what happened yesterday. If we come down to a lower time frame, you can see we got to move up to the value area high, flipped it to support. Once we flipped it to support, we would have expected the next likely spot to be that point of control at $30,000. And what happened? We went from the value area low directly to the POC at $30,000, almost to the dollar, and then got a perfect rejection from that level, right? So this is the power of the volume profiles. And that's how we were saying, we said this last night on the stream, the va this level here at 28.8K was the door to higher prices. And this level down here at $26,860 is the door to lower prices. And what happened? We held, we held support down here, got to move to the door to higher prices, broke through there and went to 30K as expected. Not because I'm magic, not because I have a crystal ball. I do, but not because I didn't even use the crystal ball. I was just using the volume profiles, and you guys can do that too. That's why I talk about these every single day and try to teach you guys as much as I can about them uh, as much as I can. So that's why we were looking for that level here. And now the question is, where do we go from here? Now, the answer to that question is, again, let's just look at our ranges here. And again, I shaded one of the ranges in white. I shaded the other range in gold to make it a little bit easier to look at for you guys because I know it could be a little bit... Um uh, I know it could be a little bit confusing when you have multiple different ranges, but it's very, very simple. You just have three levels in each range, the value area high, value area low, and POC in each range. And you got those three levels here, and you have those three levels here as well. So we have broken. We came to the bottom of this value area low, and then, you know, we would have expected this happened very quickly. Um, but once you lose this level, you're expecting to get accepted back into the gold range and potentially come down to the value area low of that range, uh, which you didn't come all the way down to, but you did come pretty close to it, uh, but we came right back down to this blue box, got a bounce, came up to the POC, bounced off the POC, and now we are currently testing the value area high. So with all that being said, where is Bitcoin headed from here? Well, right now we are testing the value area high as, re uh, as resistance. So if we can hold, uh, there we go. If we can hold, let me come down to the 15 minute. If we can break above this value area high, this is again going to be the door to higher prices. If we can crack this level, it's almost the same thing as yesterday. Uh, although we did have a lot of price action, a lot of exciting price action between yesterday and today. Like this is probably like the biggest or, or the most price action we've gotten in between streams in a very long time. We went from basically, uh, what was yesterday? Yesterday was the 25th. Hey, my birthday's tomorrow, guys. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, uh, from the 25th, this was, yeah, like from here, we basically went from 28K to 30K, all the way back down to 27K, uh, all within the span of 24 hours. Uh, and again, on the way, all the way up and all the way down, all these value area levels have been respected, right? So we got to bounce here, got to move up to the, P to the POC, held it as support. Now we're testing the value area high. If 
we could get a push above this value area high and hold this level as support. Again, just like we saw up here, this is where you can expect another shot towards your POC. And then uh, this golden pocket, if you guys did see my morning market update, you will know uh, that this was the level we needed to hold, right? I was saying if we do get a little rejection here at that purple box, which was likely because it was the point of control, uh, you know, uh, I was saying if we do get rejected, we would have to hold this golden pocket. And if we do, then we could potentially fight to get on top of that POC to get another shot to the upside. But then obviously uh, we got this absolute nuke uh, down to 27K. And now we're already back up at the value area high. So uh, this screams uh, not a healthy move to me. Uh, and by not healthy, I mean just not natural. Uh, doesn't mean it's not healthy, but uh, just doesn't seem very natural, right? Does not respect any of these levels. Uh, some kind of just a big dump of some type. Honestly, the Mount Gox, uh, 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 external FUD. Yeah, it just seems like it's some type of manipulation, right? And I don't mean like some kind of evil manipulation. It just seems like uh, this wasn't due to uh, just a random short squeeze, uh, a random long squeeze or anything like that. Uh, it, it, it is very interesting. I'm sure, you know, uh, someone's out there figuring it out right now if they haven't already. I'm sure it's all over Twitter. Uh, but, uh, you know, now that we're testing this value area high, we need to get above this level to get another shot up to 30K. However, until we break that value area high at 28.8K, I am going to be expecting to remain inside of this range. If we get rejected from the value area high, the next likely stop is going to be your POC at about 28,000, uh, almost 28.1. Uh, that is going to be your next likely stop for Bitcoin. Uh, and then again, if we could push above here, hold this as support, that's where you get another shot to the upside, right? And again, the fact that we have these giant, this thing, this candle just came all the way down. I mean, you look at the one hour, like these giant wicks like this. Uh, again, this was a pretty quick, uh, you know, uh, uh, pretty quick bounce here, right? So that is, again, you know, kind of showing me that this was just some kind of a strange move to the downside. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Connor Anderson in the chat. What is going on, brother? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, digital, uh, digital Woody says uh, Mount Gox is the one doing this. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if that is what's going on here. Uh, in which case, we may be able to get a nice little bounce here. Uh, but again, guys, you know, uh, looking at the indicators, uh, you know, if you are getting mixed signals on the indicators, you can just look at these key levels. And again, the two major, major levels we need to watch are twenty between twenty uh, twenty. 28,700 and 28,800, right? So basically, 28.8 uh, and 28.7K, that is your major level of resistance, which remains your door to higher prices, which I did not label here, but I will right now. Uh, so we'll just go door. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, door to higher prices, right? So that is your door to higher prices. And if we get to move all the way back down to the bottom of the range, I'm not really getting overly bearish until we start breaking this level at about 26,860, which again, we have looked at on the stream. Uh, we were looking at on the stream all yesterday. Uh, and then again, if we go ahead and turn off our TA, zoom out and take a look at where the volume is, you'll see why that's such a key level once that volume decides to spawn. There we go. Uh, you know, if you lose that uh, $26,860 level, uh, you know, we do have this pretty big volume gap all the way down to about 25.3, uh, which would be kind of the next uh, the next level of uh, major support if we wind up losing this range. Because you guys want to remember, the market moves in ranges, right? We're kind of ranging around here. We had another little mini range up here, but now we're just kind of forming a big range. Uh, you know, just kind of, uh, let me see if I can pull up a cleaner chart here. Uh, let's pull up the Femex chart real quick. Do I have any, uh, how much TA is on this bad boy? Nothing, right? So now we, we, we're we kind of, uh, we could be just kind of forming a massive range here. Because uh, again, you had this little range here, right? Then you had this little mini range up here, right? And then you had this range all the way back from May of 2022. And that is basically the range that I was looking at on this white box, right? This, let me zoom in a little bit. This white box, right, this white range up here is basically pulled from all the way back here in May of 2022 
right here. Those levels were pulled from this area of consolidation back in May of 2022. All I did was pull this, uh, pull this range, mark out the levels, and then I extrapolated that all the way back over here, and the levels were respected to the dollar, even though we were not trading in that range uh, all the way since back in May of 2022. So uh, again, you know, just looking at things in terms of ranges, and you have a range here, a range here, and then again, that macro range from May of 2022. But now, you know, this is just kind of a big range in and of itself where this is basically these prices up here are just a deviation away from this major range right here. So again, basically the loss of these lows at about $26,860, right? will likely result in a pretty quick move through this low volume gap. And where does this low volume gap bring you? We'll zoom in and take a look. When in doubt, circle the gap, right? Kind of sounds weird. When in doubt, circle the gap. Something about circle the gap that sounds weird. Well, anyway, uh, I'm not going to look at chat for a little bit. But anyway, uh, <laughs> if we lose these lows here, again, at about 20, uh, 26,860 is the level I've been talking about. But essentially, once you start losing these levels, the range lows essentially is that uh, – are, are those levels you don't want to lose? And again, it's in correlation with this volume gap. So if we circle this volume gap, right, and extrapolate this line all the way to the left, where does that gap bring us? Well, the gap starts at the range lows, and it brings you all the way down to these highs, which come in, again, the top of these wicks are at about 25,300. So that is going to be a very key level to watch. If this move down does continue, again, these big wicks does indicate to me not a natural, uh, 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 not a natural move, right? Uh, so again, if we lose this range, we're likely going to fall through this gap, and then the volume starts to pick back up at these highs at about 23, uh, 25,300. And again, you always want to draw support and resistance as a range, guys. Very rarely is support or resistance just a straight line. If you're just looking at straight lines, it's very often uh, or very common to get tricked, right? You're going to get faked out. Uh, you're going to wick above the level, and you're going to close below it, uh, and you're going to get faked out, right? So I like to draw them as ranges, and basically the range I would be looking at is between about 25,300 and about, uh, you know, if you draw it down to the bodies here, about 24.8. Uh, but basically 25.3, between 25.3 and 25K is going to be that very, very key level. So if we get a breakdown below this range, this is going to be the next major, major level of support I will be looking at. And then if we wind up losing those levels, the next major level I would look at is right about here to come back and test these highs coming in at about $24,000, uh, 24, the wicks uh, between about $24K. I'm going to draw this as a range as well. Between about $24,000, uh, $24,300 and about $23,900 would be that next major level to look at, right? Uh, so that's kind of the next major level if we lose this range. But again, I am not really getting that bearish. Let me pull up our other chart. I'm not really getting bearish again until we lose that $26,860 level, which again, I know flip-flopping back and forth through these charts may look confusing, but we're just looking at the same thing here, right? I have the same levels here. 25.3 to 25K is that next major level of support. This is the doorway to lower prices because it's the lows of our range, and there is that same exact volume gap. I even have it circled. Uh, so there you go. That is the exact same uh, gap, right? So we're looking at basically, we're looking at the same chart. So that is basically the key levels to the downside that I would be looking at, guys. And then again, right now, we are technically tapping on the door uh, to potentially get a move up into this next value area. However, looking at the indicators, looking at Market Cipher, we do have that red dot on the four hours. So this may have a little bit more to play out. Uh, so I would be uh, a little bit careful because we are number one at resistance. We also have the four hour red dot. We also have the three hour red dot confirmed. Uh, so you do want to be a little bit careful but then looking at this money flow, money flow is still in the green on the two hour. Three hour money flow actually doesn't look too horrible either. Uh, yeah, this, we'll have to see what happens, guys. This may have just been some kind of a fluke dump uh, with the whole Mount Gox stuff. Uh, it's the US government, Kembro. It's the US govs. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to get banned for saying that. Uh, government, we love you. We love you. We pay taxes over here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we pay you, right? You take our money. So why wouldn't you love us? Uh, but uh, there we go. Hey, what's going on? Bufo on the beat. What is going on, bro? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is what we're looking at. Uh, again, uh, one more thing I do want to bring up before we move on with the show here uh, is I want to go ahead and I want to give credit 
where credit is due. Uh, and if you go ahead and take a look at the, uh, where was it? Where was it? Uh, I don't think I have the right settings on this chart. Hmm. Let's see. Was it on the daily maybe? No, it was on the four hour. I have the messed up chart. Uh, I have the messed up settings on this chart. Uh, but uh, if you look here, we did actually, uh, I do just want to talk about the BitLab trading stack real quick because uh, it was a pretty, pretty good call here. Uh, as you guys can see, your relative extrema bars came way out of your green wave here, indicating that this was an unhealthy move uh, relative to the previous price action. Uh, kind of, you. the way I think about this is a rubber band being pulled back. When you get these bars coming out of that green wave, you can think of it as a rubber band getting stretched back, and a lot of times when you see this happen, it results in a slingshot in the other direction, right? So, uh, and I, I'd actually be very curious how this is calculated. I want to I wanna take a guess and say that this may be, uh, you know, I wonder if, uh, you know, long liquidations are, are, uh, are uh, calculated in this. I wouldn't be surprised if they were, uh, because a lot of times you could snipe really good bottoms by looking at short, uh, long and short liquidations to find tops and bottoms. Uh, but uh, I guess this really isn't going to work. I, let me see if I can just reset. Um, let me see if I could just reset to default. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't have my custom settings on here. Uh, well, I guess scratch that. I will say with the custom settings, uh, that, uh, Kelly from BitLab gave me, uh, this thing, the BitLab trading stack called this, uh, very, very, very accurately on the hidden volume. Uh, we were getting a bullish divergence down here. Um, I'm really tempted to go through our text messages to get those, uh, get those settings again, uh, to bring it up. But, uh, just looking at, you know, the, the default settings here, you could see we were getting that blue wave on the significant movement indicator as we were getting the relative extrema, uh, bars coming out of their wave. So you didn't get the bull div here on the, on the regular default settings. However, you did get the confirmation on your relative extrema and you got the blue wave on your uh, significant movements as well as an OBV bullish divergence right before we started pumping to the upside. So if you were looking at the BitLab trading stack as well as some other indicators, uh, you would have been able to, to really get some good confluence that we were going to get a move to the upside because if you were looking at this and then saw the money flow on the 90 minute on Market Cipher plus the daily green dot, uh, things just looked ready to blow. So I uh, just wanted to you kind of uh, uh, bring that up real quick. Uh, and let's take, take a look at the daily. Still didn't get a blue wave on the extrema on the daily, uh, but you did get your extrema coming out here. Uh, so I guess that was kind of butchered. I wanted to show you guys a specific, uh, specific setup there, but uh, I just basically got rugged on it because my settings weren't saved. Uh, but uh, with all that being said, guys, that is basically what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. Uh, so there's the key levels you got to be watching and kind of what I'm expecting in the long run. Uh, again, daily green dot like to confirm here. Uh, so that may give us a continued move to the upside. Really just would like to see this four hour red dot confirm and play out in full because I will be honest with you, that two hour looks like it wants to roll back up. Your one hour looks like it's looking to roll back up and we're testing that value area high. Uh, so we can get that one hour to print a green dot. We can get that two hour closer to the zero line and that four hour red dot can kind of play out and we can get a little bit of insight into where that VWAP's gonna go. Uh, if that starts curving back up, we may be able to push back up here uh, but again it's a little too soon to tell but to be quite frank with you haha -ha, quite frank uh uh, to be to be real with you, it doesn't really matter because now you guys have the key levels, right? So you're not really expecting more upside till you crack that 28.8k level, and you're not expecting too much more downside until you break that 26 uh, 26,860 level. And uh, shout out to uh, anybody, uh, uh, shout out to anybody who is uh, who was in the basement today. I forget who made the comment, uh, but someone said, "Hey, I remember Frank saying that uh, the 28.8k level was the door to more upside, and the 26.8 level." Level was the door to more downside and they were saying it was helping them out uh, because it just gives you uh, kind of levels to know what to expect if those levels are broken right so uh, although things are a little bit unclear today on the on market cipher at least uh, you know we have those levels to kind of give us more insight into the market uh, so there you go guys keep a close eye on those levels uh, and I would watch for that two hour green dot if we are going to get another move up uh, or another push I would
would look for a break of that level and a two hour green dot with money flow coming back up uh, to indicate another move to the upside. In which case, this purple box will continue to be your key level of resistance between $30,300 and $30,000. You can see it was respected almost to the dollar there. Uh, so those are the levels to be keeping an eye on. Uh, and again, this didn't really look like that healthy of a move. So uh, may just be a quick rip and then a continuation to the upside. Uh, but we're going to just have to see what happens. I am still holding both my long trades, guys. They are still in profit. Let me see if I have them up here. Um, yeah, I am still holding... Uh Always afraid I'm gonna like uh, drop like passwords on live stream or something or my personal phone number or something. I don't know why that would be on Femex, uh, but uh, I am still holding these long trades, guys. They st still are in profit. Uh, but yeah, paying a little bit of fees on that ETH long to uh, uh, realized five dollars lost there. Uh, but we're still up pretty big uh, on these unrealized. Uh, I am gonna hold them. I'm gonna hold them and monitor them very, very, very closely. Uh, uh, but yeah, I am holding them for anybody who's curious, and they are on Femex. If you guys want to sign up for or Femex, uh, if you guys want to sign up and trade on Femex, I do believe we have a deal going on, or they have a deal going on. Uh, I think they're giving deposit bonuses. Tony could probably clear that up more for you. Tony, if you want to post that link uh, with the details of any deals they have going on, uh, you guys can go ahead and sign up and save a little bit of money, maybe get some bonus funds, uh, but definitely go check it out. Uh, but I will be watching these very, very closely. Uh, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys, a little bit upset uh, on this ETH trade. I've had a crazy couple of days, uh, but this ETH trade was up. Uh, way, 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 way more. Uh, but I was not at my desk and unable to take profits. Uh, but uh, that's okay. We're still holding it, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll we'll see what happens here. But uh, one more thing, I do want to show you guys on Bitcoin before we kind of uh, move on to the altcoins. I want to go ahead and refresh here. Uh, I just want to show you guys kind of the aftermath of a big dump like this. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up Coinalize here uh, real quick. And I do just want to bring this up, guys. Look at these long liquidations, right? 4.7 million longs liquidated, uh, 2.9 million, 1.9 million, 1.7 million, uh, 1.1 million, 12 million, 3 million, 10 million. And then 13 million at the longs got absolutely wrecked here. Now I'm not, uh, I'm not super convinced that this was a long squeeze. Uh, but again, whoever was dumping here definitely stopped out. There were definitely a lot of longs up here, and they were all getting wrecked here. Look at the open interest, absolutely plummeted. This is showing people exiting positions, uh, just absolutely dumped. Uh, but those those liquidations were absolutely insane. And then you even got the shorts getting wrecked too. Uh, on the way back down, we dumped, and then everyone was like, "Oh my God!" All these late shorts got wrecked on that little bounce to the upside. Uh, so super interesting, guys. Definitely go check out Coinalize. Uh, uh, it's a completely free tool. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. It's just a completely free tool. You could log in, save your settings. You could look at things such as CVD, uh, uh, spot CVD, future CVD, liquidations, long and short liquidations, uh, open interest, amongst many, many other things that can really give you some serious insight into the market. And I'll even spit a little bit of free sauce here. Uh, I was talking about how you can use liquidations to kind of spot the lows. This is actually really good when scalping. When you kind of see everything take a tank here all at once, um, and you see, obviously, price take a big move down, you have all these long liquidations coming out, uh, you have all these giant long liquidations, a lot of times, just this alone can be a pretty good place uh, to kind of start looking for scalp long entries, especially when you have both CVDs dumping and your open interest. This is probably the more important thing to look at when you have, I'm actually going to move this up, uh, when you have your open interest, again, basically what open interest shows you is the the outstanding contracts on the market. So when this is coming up, this is showing futures traders entering new positions. And when it dumps, that shows people exiting positions. That's why when you see a lot of liquidations, you see a lot of people exiting, uh, uh, you see open interest dropping, but a lot of times, guys, when you see a big move to the downside, at least in this case, a big move down with a bunch of long liquidation, a big long liquidation candles here, and your open interest dropping, that is a lot of times a good way to snipe an absolute bottom uh, and really, like, really snipe those bottoms uh, for little scalp longs to the upside. It's a really, really good confluence to look at uh, to kind of catch those bottoms. So I'll just give you guys that little bit of uh, free sauce here. Just grabbing it out of my uh out of my out of my uh, uh what do you put sauce in a pot uh in a pot 
grabbing that wooden spoon and just flicking a little bit of that free sauce on you guys. Definitely go check out uh, Coinalize. And again, it's 100% free. Uh, go check it out. Again, no affiliate link or anything. Uh, just something I use all the time. Uh, and yeah, so go check it out. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, I think it's just about time uh, to go ahead and take a look at those altcoins. If you guys want to take a look at your altcoin, uh, if you guys want me to take a look at your altcoins, go ahead and drop them in chat right now. Rob the Crypto Snob will go ahead and count up the votes. And he'll let me know which ones are going to be taking a look at. And uh, then we'll start taking a look at them. Uh, but while he's counting up those votes, let me just go ahead and check chat real quick. Someone, uh, Flat Smack, what is going on? Shout out to Flat Smack. Speaking of Flat Smack, guys, don't forget to Flat Smack that like button. Uh, we're going for 550 likes tonight, but we got a th over 1,000 people in here. Let's go for 850. I think we can get 850 likes on tonight's stream. If we do, I will not only... Add a Frankie Candles hat to this week's giveaway, but I'll also add a free month of the premium Discord membership to one Candle Mafia member uh, uh, on Friday that we will call. Um, so free premium Discord membership and a luck, uh, Frankie Candles hat on the wheel. Uh, no, we won't put it on the wheel, but we'll add it to the giveaway. And if we get 850 likes, I'll spin the wheel 20 times. If we get 550 likes, I'll spin it 15 times, uh, but no uh, free premium membership. Uh, but there we go. Just smash that like button, basically. The more free stuff you guys want, Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got going on in chat here. We need Frankie to put on some weight so we can so we can see them Frankie handles. Hey, you guys want to see a Frankie muffin top? You guys just let me know. Say, hey, Frankie, let's see the muffin top. And uh, you never know. I might just show a little muffin top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to you, bro. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, shout out to Crypto Crab Man. Oh, he said hit that like button more than... More than I uh, hit that like button, more than I hit the bing bong. Let's go. Shout out to you, bro. Bing bong. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Crypto Crab Man. Uh, let's see. You could take profits from your phone. Ha <laughs> ha. Shout out to V Slim. Uh, yeah, I know. It's uh, uh, the amount of times that I am uh, uh, kind of just, uh, you know, doing something that I'm supposed to be paying full attention to and like kind of looking at my phone like, oh, 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 God. Oh, God. It's dumping. Oh, no, it's dumping. Uh, that's kind of the thing here, uh, you know, as, as a content creator. I think I talked to Crypto Lifer about this on my stream one day. It's uh, it, Being a content creator is a full-time job. Trading is a full-time job. And I am spending time in the office helping out with other duties at BitBoy Crypto. Uh, you know, uh, uh, many other things. I go on Blockchain Basement. I go on the morning show. Sometimes I host those shows. Uh, so uh, we have a lot to go we have a lot going on. And, uh, you know, it's very, very hard to kind of juggle three full-time jobs is what it feels like sometimes. Uh, but to be honest, uh, you know, I don't even really mind uh, as long as I can get the information out to you guys and help you guys. Uh, listen, at the end of the day, if all these trades got wrecked for me, uh, you know, obviously, I'm not going to be happy about it. Uh, but if I got wrecked on these trades, re really what's important to me is getting the information out to you guys. So if I have to, you know, get wrecked on a trade or, or miss a take profit or uh, I think I set a take profit here, but it didn't get set because I'm doing a million things. Uh, you know, if, if I get wrecked because I had to spend time getting information out to you guys in a timely manner, that is honestly my highest priority is getting the information out to you guys and making sure you guys are set up for success, uh, you know, over myself. Right. So uh, but shout out to V Slim. Uh, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for being here. Um, all right, let's see who else we got. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, shout out to this guy. He says, crypto is a scam, and people like you just help people lose money. I feel like that's a bot, probably. I don't think anyone actually thinks that. Uh, that that's got to be a bot, right? People don't actually call crypto a scam, do they? Like, I feel like they used to in 2017, 2018, but, like, I feel like if you're calling crypto a scam in 2023, you're definitely a bot or just an NPC. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, crypto's a scam. Uh, yeah. Definitely a scam. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's how you know. Uh, yeah, that's got to be a bot. I, I feel like people don't really say that anymore. Um, all right, let's see. 100x leverage on bust. Let's go. Shout out to Blockchain Domain. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Tave Digital throwing those clown emojis in the chat. Let's go, baby. Full clown mode. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> most rapidly expanded YouTube channel wipes out. Wipes out on DGen trade. Let's go. Shout out to uh, shout out to Frankie Scandals featuring Wick 589. Let's get it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, hey, love you. What is going on, bro? Hey, did we ever get the altcoins in here? Did anyone ever put alt? I didn't see any altcoins go in. What is going on? Did no one put their alts in? Oh no, there they are. Okay. Wow, not a lot of altcoin requests today. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, guys, go ahead and throw those altcoins if you want to see them. 
Let's go. Uh, shout out to our roughly 150 new viewers in here. Guys, if you are new to the Frankie Cattle's YouTube channel, welcome to the Cattle Mafia where I show you how to make money trading crypto, whether the price is going up or down. Because it doesn't matter if it's pumping or dumping. You can always make money in either direction. Uh, uh, we just happen to be making money on the way up right now. Uh, but you could definitely, definitely make money on the way down. I actually prefer that, to be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, so what chart is the best for TA? Shout out to Ace Ace. It's a little bit of a vague question. Uh, honestly, any chart that you're looking at that... Uh, you know what's going on. If you could tell that it's going up or going down and you could predict a move, uh, that is the best chart to be looking at. The one with the setup is the best chart to be looking at. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, okay, there we go. Some more alts, some more alts. Uh, I want to see calf TA. Shout out to learning. Let's get it. Uh, if they still call it a scam, then we are still early. Absolutely. I actually get super hyped when people call uh, uh, Bitcoin a scam because uh, I would expect it to happen more in a live chat like this with a thousand people in here. I would think more people would be like, crypto's a scam, crypto's a scam. I'm surprised more people don't call me a scammer. I feel like uh, uh, the uh, basically the uh, qualifications to be a scammer in 2023 is just be a YouTuber that talks about crypto and people just think you're a scammer. Uh, there's one thing I can promise you guys. I can't promise you that I'm going to be 100% accurate on every single call I make. I will be wrong. I have been wrong. Uh, that's just part of the game. But one thing I can promise you guys is uh, uh, ain't no scams going on over here. Uh, I'm a human being. I, I'm a good human being. I at least feel. Uh, and I don't know how people scam. I don't understand that. I don't know how you sleep at night if, you do, if you're doing that. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. The biggest scam is tax. Uh, chemistry, bro. I'm going to go ahead and pin that. I'm pinning that, bro, uh, because you're right. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It's not a scam, guys. I love taxes. Uh, bears and bulls are clowns today. Absolutely. Everybody's getting wrecked. Uh, <laughs> John Davis. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. Uh, INJ. Kembro knows. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Frankie Scandals. Ooh, baby. Uh, yeah, I might get into some scandal. I mean, I'm scandalous, guys. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, nah, never mind, never mind. Uh, all right, let's go. Frank, freaky scandals, let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, yo, I'm my hero said you scammed Dave. You stole his heart. Oh, God, that's the only thing I'll ever scam anybody out of. Frankie Candles is coming for your heart, baby. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see. Frankie's the a Frankie's an AI bot. I can't confirm or de n n n n deny that. De deny that. Sorry, guys tweaked out there a little bit. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at XRP because I just, uh, you know, people are saying it's dumping. So we'll start off with, uh, actually, hey, hey, guys, hey. All right, we'll take a look at XRP in a second. I'm going to take a look at ETH first because I think there's a lot of people that probably want to see ETH. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And again, guys, again, right? We have that four-hour bull div that was giving us the inkling that we were going to get that move to the upside. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Shout out to DJ. Uh, DJ, I never had to say it. DJ Hosmus. Hosmus. Uh, shout out to you, bro. Said, uh, uh, he said he got scammed for $700 plus last night. Still here and more pumped than ever. Let's go. Shout out to DJ. Uh, yeah, guys. I mean, listen, I was actually saying on Blockchain Basement earlier that uh, I haven't been rug pulled in a good while. I think I need to start... Uh, uh, going down the going down the market cap list a little bit and going after those uh, low cap gems, uh, which is I don't recommend anybody do unless you're looking to gamble your money. But hey, uh, sometimes you like to swing for the fences. Just don't invest money that you're not willing to lose. Anytime I buy a, a meme coin or a low cap gem, I am typically uh, you know uh, typically putting money in that I'm not afraid to lose. Right. So if I put a hundred bucks in and it goes to zero, I'm not really worried about it. I wouldn't go ahead and put ten grand uh, or twenty grand into a meme coin that looked like a scam. Uh, but you know, uh, I, I I did actually, uh, I, I you know, in the past, uh, in the previous bull run, I did pretty good with the meme coins, guys. There was like a whole meme coin season. And uh, listen, at, a, you know, eight, seven out of ten times, I would get rugged. But the, the three that went crazy went crazy and covered the losses plus a whole lot of profit. Uh, so, you know, it's all about risk management, uh, you know, just like anything in trading. Uh, you know, whether you're trading meme coins or leverage trading or just spot trading or long-term investing, it's all about risk management, right? Uh, it's actually more about risk management than it is about knowing if the price is going to go up or down. Uh, but anyway, we saw this bullish divergence on the four hour, which was making it look like we were going to get this push to the upside here, uh, right? 
right into our next level of resistance, which obviously uh, we did get rejected at. Uh, but you know, sometimes, guys, the setups don't present themselves, uh, right? I actually don't know if they presented themselves here on ETH, but sometimes you'll come up to resistance and there will really be no setup, right? There was no bear div here. Uh, there was really, yeah, there was like no swing failure here. There was really nothing, uh, you know, indicating we were going to get this absolute massive dump, which again, is kind of making me think that maybe it wasn't the healthiest move, uh, you know, uh, but... Uh, you know, <laughs> the levels do hit, though. The levels do hit. Uh, but kind of taking a look here, guys, we are still holding our support above this, uh, you know, very, very key level. Again, the key level for ETH is uh, more at the $18,030 level. If we pull up our visible range volume pro profile, uh, you could see as long as we hold above, let me zoom out a bit. Come on, volume. Let's go. There we go. Uh, so this is basically going to be our key level. If we can hold above this blue box, which essentially is the same thing as yesterday, uh, we can uh, remain out of this previous range. If we break this blue box, if we break this blue box right here, right, and we break into this previous area of balance, this range from down here, we do not want to break this blue box because if we do, we will likely get accepted back into this area of balance and we will likely break down potentially all the way down to this value area low, which is coming in at about 17,030, 17,000. Eats at $17,000, guys. Uh, $1,734. So uh, that is going to be, uh, again, your key level here is about $1,830. So uh, keep an eye on that. But again, we're kind of in a similar situation as Bitcoin, where we are kind of attacking a local value area high, currently uh, basically getting rejected. Uh, so yeah, I would be careful of a move. Uh, and as of right now, guys, you're just looking at the ranges, right? We've, whoops, We've been accepted back into this range, right? We got rejected from, we came to the low, bounced off the value area low, came to the high. Now, the next likely spot to go would be to revisit the value area low, again, at $1,830, which is your key level of support. So if we get down to this blue box, you're really hoping for a bounce. Uh, but if we start losing this level, I would expect a uh, bigger move to the downside for sure. Uh, and then taking a look at your, uh, just looking at market cipher here, VWAP cooling off on your eight hour, your five hour red dot and four hour red dot are printing. So be careful. These could continue to bring us down. Uh, so just be careful. But again, just looking at things in terms of ranges, uh, I wouldn't expect anything crazy until we start breaking this range. Uh, uh, between about $1,877 and, again, $1,830. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on to our next altcoin. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Rob the Crypto Snob says, smash those likes. Tonight at 850 likes, we get a Frankie Candles hat and a one-month sub for Frankie Candles Premium Discord channels in this week's giveaway. And also... Just to kind of let you guys know, uh, maybe to motivate some people to uh, smash that like button, uh, we did give the setups. Ooh, baby! Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to leak any. Any. Uh, I don't want to leak anything too important here. Uh, but I do just want to point out. Maybe get. A, maybe get people a little bit excited about maybe smashing that like button to get those. Uh, to get those. Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, memberships. Those. Uh, that premium membership. We did. We did give. We did give. That long setup, the Bitcoin long setup, all the way down here, looking for that entry. It wound up ripping all the way back up here. We were only looking to bring it up to here to the local value area high, but we wound up get, turning that scalp trade into a home run up to 30K, and that was given ahead of time in the premium Discord. Uh, so maybe, you know, maybe get a little bit excited, smash that like button, get it for free. You never know. One month, one month for free. You never know. Uh, but uh, not only that, guys, not only that, the, uh, that ETH trade was also given as a setup with confirmations in that Discord. So if you're interested, smash that like button and maybe win a free membership. You never know. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. Take a look at XRP. Uh, not that chart. Not that chart. This chart. XRP, US dollar. Uh, and as you guys know, yesterday we took a look at XRP and we said, what did we say yesterday? We said, this is our key level. The value area low from back here in September of 2022. This is the key level, value area low, coming in at 45 cents. This is your key level. If you do not want to see lower prices on XRP, we do not want to lose this level. And we are really dancing on the line here. We are really, really dancing. Like, whoa, whoa, slipped it a little bit. Ah, ah, now we're back up. 
uh, which is a good sign, right? Uh, so we are still above that value area low, but uh, she's itching. She's itching to get out of here. Uh, so hopefully we can hold within this level. Uh, and again, guys, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess this basically remains the same. Uh, where is that POC of that range? Let's see. Uh, oh, POC of, of the range is right here. Okay, so we have that marked out, right? So uh, if we can maintain... If we can maintain support above this value area low, the next likely stop for price would be that point of control coming in at 46 cents. And it wouldn't be until we break above that POC, flip it to support, that I would expect a move up to our value area high at about 50 cents. Uh, so yeah, uh, kind of just checking out on XRP, kind of in the same situation as yesterday. Uh, yesterday we were down here, uh, or yeah, well somewhere, yeah. Yeah, yesterday we were somewhere down here. Right, holding that value area low, got the move up, and then, oof, God, that was close. Uh, but we are. We are currently back in this value area. So as long as we remain above this value area low, I am expecting to trade in this range, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, just trading it as a sideways range. Taking a look at your daily. Daily VWAP working its way towards that zero line. We didn't even get the green dot yet. Money flow coming up, looking for a green dot, potentially going to print in about an hour and 12 minutes and 11 seconds. Uh, may be able to give us a move up to that POC at about 46 cents and then potentially up to the value area high at 50 cents. Uh, but we got to print that green dot on the daily first. Uh, let's see. I follow your regular Discord and would love to see what your premium has to offer. Well, hey. Uh, Mr. T Crypto, if you're looking to get a little bit of a taste, or I guess it could go for anybody, uh, if anyone's looking to get a taste of uh, what the premium has to offer, but you don't want to spend any money, we do have the dining room, which uh, let me go ahead and pull that up really, really quickly here. Uh, just to kind of show you guys, if you're looking to just kind of test out the premium to see if it's for you before you want to actually drop the money on it, um, we actually have this... Uh, we actually have this section of the Discord called the Dining Room, which is, uh, it's free. It doesn't cost money, but if you have a uh, either a Femex or a BitGet account uh, with our affiliate link, uh, and you're already trading on that account, you just click, say you have a Femex, uh, you, you signed up with our Femex link, you could just go ahead and click Femex and enter your user ID after the box pops up. You type your user ID in here, hit submit, and you'll get access to this entire uh, free channel, which has a separate chat. It has an altcoin gem channel where we post uh, we post altcoins that are looked like they that look like they want to they are primed for runs here. Uh, we've done pretty well with these uh, in the past, as you can see. Uh, but you also, this is probably what most people are interested in. Uh, we have a premium TA section where you will get one premium either trade setup where I actually spoon feed the trade setup with confirmations or just a premium uh, TA update. You get one of these a week if you're in the uh, dining room. So you can get in there for $0. All you have to do is sign up with one of our links and uh, you can actually spend a couple weeks in here, get a little bit of a, you know, get one post a week and see if it's something you'd be interested in getting every single day. And again, it's no skin, skin off your back. It doesn't cost any money. Um, so there you go. If you're looking to try that out for free, uh, obviously it's not every single day, but you can get a little bit of a taste of what's in the premium. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue on here, guys. So that's XRP. Looking for that green dot. Maybe able, if we get that green dot, I would look for a potential move back up to our value area high. And again, but until we break below the value area low or above this value area high, I would not expect to uh, really deviate uh, or I wouldn't expect much higher or much lower prices until we start breaking these key levels, uh, which is our current range. So uh, there you go. Uh, that is XRP. And uh, let me just check the weekly real quick. Yeah, Red Dot is printing on XRP as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, uh, Chef Rojo said, I'm no spoon. Somebody called you a spoon? That's a straight bully move. Hey, guys, don't call people spoons. Uh, hey, let's go. LFG, pull your fib. Hey, people throwing those candles in the chat. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Uh, uh, Dave Digital says, why doesn't Bing X uh, qualify for the kitchen? Hey, Dave. I think, actually, I think Tony D's working on that. Uh, that bot, uh, the, the, that whole system that we got going on with the dining room took Tony months to work out on the back end. He programmed a whole bot to... to to go through and make sure the user ID was actually signed up. It's like, it, it was a very, very long, strenuous process to get that all set up. Uh, but I think we are going to be working on getting Bing X in there as well. And I think we're going to start adding to it uh, more and more uh, in case other people have exchanges that uh, is not on there. So it just takes a lot of time to set up. Uh, but let's see. Uh, uh, 
Uh, let's see. Okay, let's continue on here. Uh, looking for Rob. There we go. Uh, ETH, XRP, ADA. Let's take a look at ADA. Uh, ADA finally getting some moves here. <laughs> ADA's not dead. Ada's not dead, everybody. Ada is still very, very much alive. Uh, it's, it's alive, guys. Kind of. Kind of. Look, it's moving a little bit. Uh, it's funny, man. When you zoom out, uh, you're buying Ada. You're still buying Ada at the bottom here. Uh, but anyway, uh, taking a look here. This is exciting for anybody who's been holding Ada for a really long time. Uh, money flow crossover on the three-day is now back in the red. Uh, but I think that may come back up into the green. You have your VWAP curving back up. Let's continue on. Take a look at the daily money flow coming back up. Green dot looking to print. Actually, actually, this actually doesn't look too bad. This daily does not look bad with your money flow coming up. Nice trigger. Oh, this actually does not look bad. You have your anchor wave here. Again, market cipher basic strategy here. You have your anchor wave crossing that negative 60 line. And then you have a little trigger wave. Looking to print right here. There's your trigger. What happens when you have a handle and a trigger? You know, maybe you got a trigger guard, something like that. Maybe there, maybe it looks something like this. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to draw it in too much detail in case someone doesn't, you know, someone on YouTube doesn't want to know anything about this or they want to ban us for talking about certain things. But that kind of looks like something. Handle, trigger. I don't know. This looks like a barrel or something. What happens when you pull that trigger, baby? Pull the trigger. Boom. That is typically what that means, guys. Typically, when you get those trigger waves is when you get those moves to the upside. Not a guarantee. Not 100% chance. Uh, but the thing I like about this chart here on the daily is the fact that not only do you have the money flow flying to the upside, you also have your VWAP looking to cross that zero line, printing that green dot at the same time. Uh, sometimes that can give you a, a pretty big move. And again, the fact that you have this anchor wave below the uh, negative 60 line and that trigger wave could indicate momentum is coming to the upside, money flow is coming to the upside, and your VWAP is also coming to the upside. Daily on Cardano does not look too bad. You're also holding a very key level here, which is the point of control of your range in perfect confluence with this local golden pocket. Uh, which is pulled from this low to the high. Uh, so very, very nice little uh, l support level that we're holding here. And uh, your key level of resistance that you're going to want to break out of to get much higher prices on Cardano is going to be this value area high coming in at about 40 cents, right? So if we can get, uh, you know, if we can continue to get a move up here above that value area high, that may be where that daily green dot can give us a bigger move up. And if we pull up our VPVR, Go ahead and see where that volume is. Zoom out to a higher time frame and uh, see where that volume is, right? So if we break out here, a little bit of a volume gap up to about 42 cents, that is going to be a likely spot to uh, find some resistance. You can see we got rejected at that exact level back here in February. And uh, if you can get above that level, I would look to re, uh, you know, retest these highs. Whoops, retest these highs up here at about 46 cents. And then at that point, uh, you're kind of approaching this previous area of consolidation, which if we go ahead and pull a little bit of a range on this, um, yeah, yeah, see, not only is this high in confluence with this high volume node right here, it's also in perfect confluence with the POC from this previous range, and if we go ahead and break that POC, I would expect a potential move up to the previous value area high from all the way back over here in uh, August, which would be bringing you up to about a 53 cent Cardano. Um, and that is if that green dot and money flow coming up on the daily is going to give you a big move. And that is assuming that you break out of this current value area. Uh, and then continuing on to our lower time frames. Eight hour looking for a red dot pretty soon here. Taking a look at the four hour red dot printing. This is going to look a lot, uh, very, very similar on a lot of these other coins here. Uh, you know, red dot printing on the four hour, two hour. Uh, VWAP curving back up here as well. So this looks the same as everything else. But now you guys have the key levels to look for. And again, that daily actually does look pretty good in my opinion because we did not get that green dot just yet. And that money flow does have me feeling pretty good. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, spoon feed me, Frankie. Spoon feed me. Shout out to Creighton. Let's go, bro. Shout out to you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, bada boom, bada boom. Uh, let's see. Windows XP. Let's go. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, bottom. Oh, hey, Traders Reality. 
Tino in the chat. What is going on, Tino? Shout out to you, brother. He says, uh, oh, my God, I didn't even see the super chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Traders Reality. He said, I hope you paid yourselves, Candle Mafia. Let's go. Shout out to Tino. A little bit of a pump and dump, eh, bro? What about this pump and dump? What do you think? Let me know, bro. Let me know. What are you thinking? Do you think we're going further down or you think this is? Uh, think we're going to get a sharp bounce here? Let me know. Shout out to Tino, bro. Thank you for tuning in, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and continue on here. Spoon feed that sauce, baby. Let's go. My guy, my guy, Tino. Bro, Tino is some of the best vibes in this space. I'm not going to lie, bro. Anytime I see his content, bro, I get fired up too. He's like, oh, God, man. He's, I love watching him, bro. Uh, shout out to Tino, guys. Go check out Tino's channel. Uh, all right. Let's continue on here. Uh, missed all of this move up and down. Uh, life first, unfortunately. Hey, TRD Farmer, there is always going to be another pump and another dump to take advantage of, bro. You didn't just, you didn't miss it. You didn't miss it. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's, it's going to be a, uh, always another opportunity, bro. Don't feel like you missed out. Uh, the important thing is you won, right? You won TRD. Uh, you didn't FOMO in and get wrecked. So you won. Uh, sometimes the best trade is no trade. If your life does not call for you to be sitting there and trading, uh, you probably shouldn't be trading. So shout out to you, man. Uh, good job. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 <laughs> yo, shout out to Nagatoshi. Says, uh, Big Tino definitely used to spit bars and commentates horse racing in his spare time. Hey, Nagatoshi, uh, 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 people tell me all the time that uh, I am an auctioneer. So it's funny. It's like horse racing and auctioneer, I feel like it's like the same thing. Uh, catch you yo, uh, peace out, Tino. Thank you for tuning in, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon, brother. Uh, but yeah, people call me an auctioneer. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's like kind of the same thing. Same with horse racing. Coming around left corner, coming around right, you know, number six, number six. Uh, yeah, that pr Frankie, Frankie Candle's the auctioneer. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue on here. Uh, uh, Oh, hey, shout out to uh, uh, Nevitz. Says, oh, my God, I'm lagging a bit, but happy birthday. My birthday is tomorrow, too. Hey, shout out to you, bro. We're just a couple April baby fools. You know, April baby fools? April fool. A couple couple April fool. Couple couple April. Couple, couple baby fools? Couple, couple April baby fools? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and continue on here. Uh, next altcoin we're looking at, guys, is going to be Render. RNDR, let's go ahead and check it out. Taking a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the uh, Binance Tether US render. Taking a little ripski to the upside here. Uh, let's see. Daily, green dot confirmed. Money flow crossing over into the green. Not a bad look. Could potentially put in a little bit of a bear div here on the daily. Uh, lower highs on your momentum waves. Higher highs on your price action. But let's take a little bit of a deeper look. Take a look at the 12 hour. Same deal. May put in some bear divs here. Money flow looking healthy though. Money flow crossover into the green on the daily would be uh, more of a bullish signal, uh, obviously. Uh, we spent a little bit of time in the red here. You can see our last money flow crossover into the green caused a massive move to the upside. Even this money flow crossover into the green caused a pretty big move to the upside. This one. Not so much, uh, but yeah, this money flow crossover may be able to give us something. Taking a look, uh, check the weekly, right? See, weekly red dots not printing on render. Uh, so I'm feeling a little bit better on render than I would be feeling on some of these other altcoins. One thing I don't like is that you could potentially, if we don't you know, pump up more and invalidate this bear div on the weekly, this could, I mean, you're pretty far away from printing this, so this could get invalidated, like this is a, Plenty of time to get invalidated here, but you may be putting in a little bit of a bear div here if you start printing that red dot. Uh, again, if and only if this red dot prints while you still have that lower high in your momentum waves, that, that would be a pretty bearish look. Uh, but you got the money flow crossover into the green on the money flow, so that would be generally a pretty good sign. Uh, and again, you do have plenty of time for this kind of to get invalidated. Uh, a little too soon to call that, uh, but if you do wind up just kind of chilling here, and then get that red dot. That would be a pretty bearish look. Uh, but again, a little too soon for that. A lot of these higher time frames are kind of setting up for some bear divs. Not going to lie, guys, with the higher highs, lower highs. Uh, but again, the, the real thing I'm looking at here is money flow. That daily money flow crossover into the green could step on those bear divs, right? So uh, just be careful. Again, in a big explosive move to the upside, 
uh, you know, those bear divs are not going to play out like they typically do in a downtrend uh, or or in a bearish trend, right? Uh, taking a look at your 16-hour, same deal. Money flow, healthy looking. Yeah, this money flow is looking fat, baby. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too concerned about those higher time frames with the way this money flow looks. 10-hour money flow, super thick. Again, bearish divergence may be forming here. That money flow looks healthy, though. Six-hour money flow, thick in the green. Same thing, setting up for bear divs. You can't ignore that, right? You are getting the higher highs. You are getting your lower highs. But again, money flow is thick and trending to the upside, so I would be careful with those uh, shorts, right? Take a look at your four-hour red dot printing. No bear div. Money flow generally teetering out, right? You can see your money flow is definitely trending to the downside. Uh, but your, money f uh, your momentum, though, is uh, generally trending up here, right? So uh, not the most bearish look here. If you had a bear div, right, if this momentum wave was down here like this and you had lower highs and your money flow was coming out and you had that red dot and higher highs, this would be a very bearish setup. Uh, but that is simply just not what you have going on right now. Take a look at your two-hour. VWAP is curving back to the upside. Take a look at your 45-minute. Getting rejected at that zero line just a little bit. Take a look at that 15-minute or 24-minute red dot printing. Yeah, I uh, honestly, guys, for a lot of this stuff, I would like to see this four-hour red dot play out in full, right? I'd like to see that red dot play out in full. So, uh, yeah, I would be, uh, yeah, be aware of that. Let that play out, see where it brings you, and then, uh, you know, you could kind of uh, get a better idea if this thing is going to continue to the down, uh, continue to the upside, or start a correction or a bigger correction down. I'll pull some levels for you. Let's go ahead and see. Um. Yeah, kind of out of your value area here. Uh, let's zoom out. Yeah, let's come up to a higher time frame. Let's pull a little bit of a, yeah, this is kind of a wonky range to look at. Yeah, this would probably be a better range to look at. Uh, but yeah, we are definitely out of our value area here. So uh, if we do get a cool off here, if this bear div, if the bear divs do start printing, I would be looking at that value area high for some support. So I would actually be looking at this for some support, right? Between that value area high and that local golden pocket, between about 181 and 167 is going to be the level that I would be looking at to potentially get a bounce to the upside if we do start cooling off. Uh, and then if we get accepted back below that value area, likely that you're going to continue down to that POC coming in at $1.41. All right, let's go ahead and continue on here to our next altcoin. Uh, shout out to TRD Farmer says, I love crypto and yogurt. Me too, bro. Me too. Hey, shout out to crypto and yogurt. Welcome back to the muscle, bro. And again, shout out to crypto and yogurt for gifting those 10 Frankie Candles memberships. Let's go. Who won the memberships? Let's see. Hopefully some new people got the memberships. Melissa Santiago, welcome to the muscle. Shout out to Super Trucker Ryan, as always. Coors Lightyear. Shout out to Bud Lightyear. Uh, shout out to Coors Lightyear. He gets a free membership. Como se comas. Uh, shout out to you. Seven more likes. I'll come to your home and hug you. Guys, smash that like button right now. We need seven likes. I need Creighton C to show up to my house right now. Shout out to Creighton C. Uh, let's see who got one. Peter, uh, Peter Post got one. Uh, let's see. Uh, tight jibs. Let's go. Bailey Armstrong. Hey, that's Ben's brother. Armstrong. Ben Armstrong. Bailey Armstrong. Uh, I'm actually not kidding. It's actually Bailey from The Office. Actually, Ben's brother. But... Welcome to the muscle, bro. Shout out to you. We got GF Burke back in the muscle. Let's go. Shout out to you, man. We got Flat Smack back in the muscle. Colin McDonald. And I think that's it. Shout out to you. And shout out to Crypto and Yogurt for gifting those Frankie Candles memberships. Uh, Kevin Baker says, hey, Frank, could we look at STX? Much love, man. Yeah, we will try to sneak FTX. FTX. STX. We'll, we'll sneak STX in there for you, bro. Uh, let's see. Haven't seen y'all in a while, brother. Hope you're killing it. Let's go. Shout out to Kevin Baker. Welcome back, bro. Uh, yeah. Happy to have you here, bro. We're doing great. Shout out to you, man. Uh, let's see. I get to hug Frankie. Did you see the, did you see that, Dave? I'm going to hug Frankie. <laughs> Shout out to Dave. Uh, Sagamoto. Let's go. Uh, all right. Let's continue on here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, Oh, crypto and yogurt with another 10 memberships. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Bitcoin Ronin said, hook me up. Hook me up. Let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> yo, Bailey Armstrong said, I'm poor, so this is huge for me. Shout out to Bailey. Uh, there we go. Super Snoopy, Crunk C. Let's go. Uh, the hybrid family. Let's get it. Robert Angel, Kevin Baker. Welcome in, bro. Corey, PS5 Future. 
PS, uh, PS5, Future of Gaming, let's go. BK, let's get it. Ferris and Sue Deep Rouser. I know I've been saying Sun Deep, but Dave corrected me. It's Sue Deep, and I will never mess that up again. Javit the Barber in the house. Javit, Javit, bro, 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 check it out. We flew Tony's New York Barber into an ATL to get a nice, fresh cut, bro. Check the fade, my dude. Finally, finally, a good fade. Shout out to Javit the Barber. One day, we're going to call you in to cut the hair at the Hit Factory. Let's go. Crypto and Yogurt, thank you so much for that super chat. Said, you get a membership, and you get a membership, and you get a membership. Crypto and Yogurt, I don't have any yogurt. Otherwise, I'd be throwing yogurt. Uh, but I do have some of this cash. So we're going to throw it for you, bro. We're going to throw it for you. Bing bong. Let's go. Shout out to you, bro. Oh, my God. I just opened up. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto and Yogurt. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead. Uh, you're the man. Love you, bro. <laughs> let's go. You guys are the best. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> that's a clean fade. Let's go. Shout out to Javit. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get Javit out here. That would be some content. If we flew a Candle Mafia member out here to cut some hair, that would be some lit content. Hey, shout out to Crypto Gideon. Shout out to you, bro, for another 10 Frankie Candles memberships. Why is everybody gifting memberships? Let's go. Bitcoin pumps and then dumps, and everybody gives away their money. Let's get it. Shout out to everybody who just got another membership. Let's go. Oh, God, this is lit. This is too good. This is too good. Shout out to you guys. Let's go. We still got 702 people in the chat, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're finding any value in this stream or you've learned something, smash that like button. It's the easiest and most free way to support the channel. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. You're the man. Thank you for gifting those memberships. Open the gift gates, folks. Let's go. Let's go. You guys are the best. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to our next altcoin. Uh, let's see. GRT. Let's get it. GRT. GRT Tether US. Here we go. I don't know what any of these lines are from. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know when I, what any of these lines are from. So we're going to go ahead and start fresh. And I'm also going to go ahead and crack some Azteki and Cactus Moss Water, guys. Because I feel like I might be running out of gas a bit here. And shout out to Dark Crash. I'm going to crack some water here, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. Taking a look at GRT, guys. Let's check it out. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. Yo, bro, you guys are crypto and yogurt for another five memberships, guys. No more TA. TA's over. We're just going to shout out all these memberships. I'm just kidding. We're still doing some alts, guys. Shout out to Crypto Gideon said, uh, a, little late to sh a little late to the show, but I'm here. Hope you all are well. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. You might be late, bro, uh, but you made, you made quite an entrance. You made quite an entrance, man. Shout out to you. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to Crypto and Yogurt. Another five memberships, bro. You are you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Can I like pin this? I like I want to like uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to do something. I want to like pin you to the top of the chat or something. Shout out to you guys and shout out to everybody who just got a free membership. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Y'all make sure you're not watching from a branded channel to get the gifted memberships. Also, you have to opt in. Select the green gift icon. If you can't opt in, you're likely branded. There you go. So you can only get gifted if you're a non-branded account. So if you guys are not getting these memberships, you got to turn it on in the settings. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, bro. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are probably confused. Uh, Johnny Tupac, it's in the chat. Let's go ahead and continue on here, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> Crypto and Yogurt's having a great day. You must be winning some trades out there, bro. Let's go. Uh, all right, let's continue on. And take a look at what we got going on here for GRT. Take a look at the daily. And our daily is a nice little range here. Nice little uh, potential bull pennant. Um, let's see. Looking for the green dot on the daily. Some of these alts, guys. Some of these also, the green dots on the daily, may be able to give you a little pop to the upside. Let's go ahead and uh, pull a little bit of a range here. Yeah. Holding the value area low of the range currently. By like a, you know, barely, barely, by the skin of its teeth. Excuse me. Money flow coming back to the upside uh, on the daily as well. Not looking too bad. Money flow crossover on the 12 and the 16 hour. VWAP's kind of cooling off here a little bit. Oh, looking for a 10 hour red dot. Money flow generally coming out. Eight hour money flow is coming out as well. Looking for the red dot. 
Six hour looking for the red dot, five, five hour printing the red dot, and the four hour also printing the red dot. I would be careful here. I would be careful here with all these red dots looking to print on those higher hourly time frames, but these are definitely the levels I would be looking at. And I'm going to go actually ahead and pull a golden pocket here as we are bouncing or hitting that golden pocket directly right now. So these are the levels I would be looking at, guys. Going to be uh, looking at that 786 at about 12 cents. And I would also look at this golden pocket at about, you know, 13 cents. Uh, if you lose this golden pocket, you can see you have an absolute gap in volume here. Likely going to result in a quick move down to that 786, uh, where you do have a decent uh, bit of volume. But if you wind up going ahead and losing these lows from back here, you have a pretty big gap again all the way down to about uh, 90 or I'm sorry, 9 cents, almost 10 cents. Uh, you know, I will call it 10 cents, right? So uh, these are the levels I would be looking at. Oh, no, I just got a KuCoin. I just got a Q, uh, I just got a KuCoin notification. What is this about? You've been liquidated. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, 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 will, I actually don't know if I'm kidding yet, uh, but I'm not in a trade on KuCoin, so I can't get liquidated. But XRP event. XRP ranks top one gem box with 59.7% of users, uh, uh, and it's gone. And, and it's gone. Okay, continuing on. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> yo, Reefamon said I was a mafia member, but I got sent to Tulsa. I assume that has something to do with Tulsa King, the show. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all right, let's continue. Uh, yeah, let's continue. So yeah, I would keep an eye on this volume, guys, because you do have uh, you know low volume gap. I'll kind of mark this out. Right? Boom. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. All right. Well, I'm not going to draw the arrows, but I'll just do this. Right? LVG. Right? We got an LVG right here, low volume gap. We also have a low volume gap right here. Right? So, uh, you know, I'll even draw these as boxes. Right? Boom. Low volume gap. Neutral. There you go. Come on. Low volume gap. There you go. Right? So if we enter into these white boxes, it's probably going to be a quick move down. Right? And then if you lose this level, quick move down again. So these are kind of the levels I would be looking at. Uh, and then honestly, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. If you, I mean, this is probably going to be some pretty strong support right here. So this would be a key level. Uh, but again, uh, you know, I would hope that you could hold this level and remain within this value area. Uh, but again, that daily, daily looking for the green dot, guys, doesn't look horrible on GRT. Taking a look at your two-hour VWAP rolling back up. Money flow looks pretty good on the two-hour as well. One hour looking for the green dot. Money flow doesn't look as good. 90-minute money flow. Again, guys, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the sauce, guys. Not guaranteed to happen. Uh, not guaranteed to happen exactly like it happened on Bitcoin. But again, what do we happen? What do we have here? Just like on Bitcoin, on the 90 minute, we had the money flow crossover into the green right here, where my vertical line is. Right before the massive move up, we had that money flow crossover on the 90 minute. Why was that so interesting? Because we had the green dot on the daily printing at almost the same time. Let's go over to GRT and see what's happening. What do we have? Money flow on the 90 minute is cruising to the upside, looking for that crossover into the green very, very soon. Now, why is that important? Because if you come to the daily, very similar to Bitcoin yesterday, the, the daily is looking for a green dot. And it again, just like Bitcoin yesterday, this doesn't look like it wants to print today. It looks like it would more likely print tomorrow. But... We thought that yesterday on Bitcoin, and we wound up getting that green dot, and we got that big pump overnight. So if that green dot prints and that 90-minute money flow crossover happens at the same time, and it winds up playing out and giving us a big move, I would look for a move up to the POC at about 15 cents. If you can get above that, I'd look for a move to 17 and a half cents at the value area high of this local range. So there you go. There's GRT. Who did it? Who did it? I just see a bunch of free memberships. Who did it? Uh, crypto and yogurt, can you please come to the main office? The principal wants to talk to you. 
Shout out to Crypto and Yogurt. Just gifted 20 Frankie Candles memberships. Yo, Crypto and Yogurt, Crypto Giddy, everyone gifting these memberships right now must be crushing the trades uh, today. So shout out to you guys. Uh, that's a whole lot of memberships, guys. Shout out to Crypto Gideon. Shout out to Crypto and Yogurt. Absolutely insane. Javita Barber's got one because I can bump it. What's going on, bro? Thank you for being here and welcome to the muscle, bro. Uh, we got Ben in here. Ben Purvis. Uh, uh, Cam Shump. Let's go. We got Quinn up in here. Paul C. Deepak. Oh, God. Everybody gets a membership. You get a membership. You get a membership. You, you get a membership. You get a membership. You get a membership. You, I'm, I'm Crypto Gideon and uh, Crypto and Yogurt. You get a membership. You get a membership. I'm crushing the trades. You get a membership. You get a membership. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, everyone gets memberships. Bing bong. Let's go. Shout out to the Candle Mafia. Literally the most giving candle community, crypto community, on all of the YouTubes. Shout out to, uh, shout out to you guys. You guys are absolutely selfless. Uh, and that's an amazing trait to have. So shout out to you guys. Awesome, awesome moves. Uh, uh, Tony T says, Frank is getting extra credit by submitting some extra sauce. Shout out to Tony D. Uh, yeah, you guys are absolutely nuts. Yeah, crypto and yogurt and crypto getting in are in the house, man. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Just made it. What did I miss? Well, Nick, you missed a lot of free, uh, a lot of free memberships. Uh, Bailey Armstrong says, thank you so much, crypto and yogurt. Can't thank you enough for real, for real. Shout out to Bailey. Let's go. Bailey, welcome to the muscle. I mean, you work at the factory. Like, I mean, you're Ben's brother. I feel like we probably should have. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think I could just give them away. Uh, but if I could, we probably should have just given you one. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, what did everyone want to see? I think that was our last altcoin, but uh, someone asked for uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? STX. Let's take a look at STX. I forget who asked for it, but hopefully you're still here, and uh, hopefully uh, you see that I didn't forget about you. Well, okay, yeah, we looked at STX, I believe, yesterday. That's when we were looking at that. Uh, yeah, daily bear div brought us down. I think this was like 38%. Let's see. Was that this? Yeah. No. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but we are currently holding support uh, within our value area low. We are currently actually spawn these levels real quick. We're actually hold. Oh, baby. This is like a fight for the POC right now. Uh, let's go down to the one minute or the five minute here. It is the absolute battle of the century for that point of control. Uh, I'm just, let me scroll back to spawn the levels here. There we go. I hate that about the volume profiles. I love the volume profiles, but if there's one thing that I hate, uh, it's the fact that you have to scroll back to get the levels to spawn. Uh, I don't know why I use the word spawn, but yeah, this is the battle for the point of control. Uh, just literally, literally going down to the one minute here, literally like tapping that level. Uh, so yeah, trying to fight above that value area. Uh, I'm sorry, point of control. Taking a look at your daily, daily red, do uh, daily green dot is confirmed. Uh, Yo, Crypto Gideon, super chat, uh, get, bro, shout out to Crypto Gideon, bro, thank you for that $10 super chat, man, yo, you really must be, like, wow, I just almost said some bad stuff, uh, you must be messing up those trades, bro, for real, for real, dude, dang, shout out to Crypto Gideon, bro, thank you so much, I really do appreciate you, man, thank you so much, um, uh, all right, let's see, Sergio says, what are your favorite indicators, uh, I'll be on honest, I hop around quite a bit, uh, but I do use Market Cipher, which we are now officially sponsored by. Uh, but it, before anybody starts thinking, oh, this guy's only using it because he's sponsored, uh, literally, CryptoFace sponsored us like starting a week or two ago. Uh, we've been using Market Cipher since I started the channel. So uh, just understand that. I've been using Market Cipher for years. I've been using Market Cipher before I ever even worked with BitBoy Crypto. So uh, yeah, I've been using Market Cipher for years. Uh, and I absolutely love it. That's why I use it. That's why it's at the bottom of my uh, screen every single day. Uh, but also the BitLab trading stack, Fire Indicators, Lux Algo is another uh, indicator that I'm constantly looking at. Again, the Smart Trail, one of my favorite things. Uh, I actually recently put out a video for my Lux Algo custom settings, my overpowered custom settings for uh, uh, Lux Algo. Uh, how I keep my charts looking clean, but also, uh, you know, looking at some really, really powerful information. Uh, so Lux Algo, the BitLab trading stack, Market Cipher, uh, some of my favorite indicators. Uh, but my favorite free tool is definitely the volume profile. And if you have a free trading view account, you could, uh, you can at least see the fixed range volume profile. Uh, but just to, not to get it twisted, guys, you don't need paid indicators to be a successful trader or a profitable trader. At all. 100% do not need paid indicators. You could be a profitable trader 
by just trading price action. You don't even need, uh, uh, you know, support resistance. Like, like that's all you really need. You can you can be a profitable trader with all free uh, tools and indicators. Uh, but you know, if you have the luxury of being able to look at paid indicators or afford paid indicators, they definitely are infinitely helpful in uh, giving you uh, confluence and. Uh, uh, yeah, it just depends on how you trade. So I just don't want anyone getting freaked out that if you can't afford a paid indicator that you can't be a, a profitable trader because that's not the case. Uh, but uh, if you can look at them and you can afford them, then why not get that extra information uh, to make you that much more confident of a trader? Uh, oh, my God. You guys are crazy. Crypto Gideon, man. I, I can't believe you super chatted. Th thank you so much, bro. Uh, and Crypto and Yogurt said, let's see some Matic. Okay, we'll take a look at Matic as well. And apparently I forgot HBAR. I don't know how I uh, passed that, but... Looking at STX here, I'll just keep Lux Algo up here. We are getting kind of floated up on top of this smart trail. And as you guys know, uh, typically when you're above the smart trail, uh, typically it, it is indicating that you're in an uptrend. And typically that is where you will see support. And then when you flip below the uh, smart trail, that is where you start using it as resistance. It is great confluence when you're looking for shorts. You could see, come up and tap it, absolute rejection. Come up and tap it, absolute rejection. Come up and tap it, absolute rejection. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Flip it to support. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Mega bounce. Tapped it. Flipped it to the flipped it red for a second before you bounce, and now we are tapping it again. So looking at bullish confirmations while in the smart trail, and looking at your value area, you're also supported by not only this horizontal level of support, but also your value area low and your smart trail. So any bullish confirmations at this level may be a good indication that you will come to the upside. Daily green dot is confirmed. VWAP kind of sideways here, but may be able to get a flip to the upside uh, somewhat, uh, you know, in the near future. Uh, take a look at our four-hour red dot printing, right? So again, this is just kind of where things start to look identical to everything else, where you have the five-hour red dot printing, the four-hour red dot printing, uh, three-hour red dot confirmed, uh, two-hour um, two red dot is confirmed, VWAP rolling back up. So this just looks the same as everything else. But as far as levels, uh, I will be... As far as levels, I will uh, I would be looking at these. Your value area low at 66 cents, POC at about 73 cents, and then your value area high at about a dollar oh two. Obviously, this golden pocket between about eighty two cents and eighty five cents is going to be a decent thing, uh, decent level to watch as well. Another thing to realize here is a little bit of a gap between about seventy seven cents and about eighty three cents. So a little bit of a gap there. So I would expect you know violent move up here. Violent move down here, kind of a violent move up here. So if you get back in that range, you might get another violent move up. Uh, and then you do have another uh, gap down here that I would keep an eye on as well. Um, so these are the levels that I would be looking at. I'll go ahead and mark them out if anybody wants to screenshot them uh, to keep an eye on these levels. There you go. And let's go ahead and move on to our next coin, which is going to be HBAR. Uh... Uh, Caspa, I could try to take a look at Caspa. Um, let's see. H bar. Let's take a look. Um, bada boom. Let's see. Um, H bar. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and remove all our TA here. I'm going to go ahead and pull a wonky old range right here. Bada boom. Yeah. Okay. Sitting at the value area low. Very similar to a lot of this other stuff. Money flow crossed over into the green on the two hour, very similar to a lot of other things. Daily green dot now printing. Not a bad look. Not a bad look at the value area low. We don't get overly bearish at the value area low. I only get bearish at value area lows after we've broken below and bearishly retest with some kind of confirmation that we will continue and move down. I do not get bearish as we are sitting at, you don't get bearish when you're sitting at the value area low. This is where you're looking for longs, right? I know if you're new to trading, that kind of seems backwards. It's like, well, you're going down. Why wouldn't you be looking for shorts here? The reason is because the place you wanted to short was up here, right? Just like you don't typically want to, you know, any level of support, right? You don't want to be shorting at support. If you shorted at support here thinking, oh my God, we're crashing, we're crashing, you would have gotten wrecked right? Same way as if you're approaching resistance, you're not looking at this and being like, oh my God, we're ripping, we're ripping, I'm going to enter a long. You're looking for the opposite. You're looking for shorts here. You're looking for longs here, right? 
And you can see here, we broke down, bearishly retested. The reason you don't get overly bearish here is because you're not entering into a good short here. You're actually entering into the worst short. The entry for the short was all the way up here on the bearish retest, right? So very similarly, I'm not getting bearish here. I'm actually getting bullish here looking for longs, right? But just like you got a breakdown bearish retest and that was a beautiful short entry, I would not be looking for shorts until I got a bearish retest of this level with confirmations. A lot of times those blood diamonds will pop up as good confirmations that you're going to reject. So if you break down, bearishly retest, and then you got you know something like a blood diamond here, um, that's my example of a blood diamond. That may be a good indication to go short and try to ride this thing down for some more gains. Uh, you know, maybe targeting these previous highs right here. But uh, right now, as it stands, I would be looking for longs at the value area low, especially with that green dot on the daily. Take a look at the 16 hour, looking to roll back over. 12 hour, looking to roll back over. 10 hour red dot and blood diamond. So that is uh, definitely a more bearish look. I would be careful, right? It's all about context. I would be looking for longs here, but I may not be taking the longs because of that 10-hour blood diamond. Could wind up being pretty bearish. Uh, let's see, six-hour red dot looking to print. Your five- and four-hour red dots are printing, obviously, just like everything else. Uh, so with the, uh, in the spirit of the 10-hour blood diamond, let's uh, assume if we break down below this, let's go ahead and find out where price could go, right? And I, uh, I should have done this before I pulled up the volume, but... I was going to say there was likely a volume gap here. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, save as default. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, I was going to say there's probably a volume gap. The reason I said if you wanted to short here, the reason I said target these highs was because uh, I could see that we had this very quick move up. So I knew that there was likely a volume gap between this level and these highs right here, right? Because we had a very violent move up. Obviously, there was resistance here, so that's going to be support on your way down. So, uh, you know, traditionally, you would draw a horizontal line, and the fact that this was such a violent move up, I would expect it to be a violent move down, and I'm envisioning there's probably a volume gap there, which there is. I wish I brought that up before I pulled the volume, but uh, there you go. Pretty nice volume gap here. Uh, so I would look for a potential, if you get a breakdown, bearish retest, maybe a quick, quick move. Uh, down to about uh, this level at about uh, five cents, right? Uh, but I am not getting bearish until we actually break the value area low. And like more, more realistically, I would actually look to break uh, this uh, five and a half cent level. So we'd have to break down, lose this level. Then you're expecting that quick move down to about five cents. Um, and there you go. That is what I'd be looking for on H bar. Uh, 10 hour blood diamond, definitely not the best look. Uh, hey, let's go. We we got 700 likes, guys. 600 people still in here. Uh, we've been struggling with the likes lately, guys. So 700 likes is pretty good for us lately. Uh, let's go. Shout out to uh, 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 Tala. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, we will go ahead and take a look at Matic. Let's take a look at Matic. Uh, bada boom. Binance. Tether. Bada boom. Bada bing. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove all this stuff and take a look. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pull our real wonky volume here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Casper. Yeah, we'll take a look at Casper right after this. Uh Let's see. Hey, Nagatoshi Sagamoto. We love you back, bro. We love you back. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, naughty, naughty, Gary. Let's go. Uh, all right. Let's see here. So kind of, yeah. So this is the thing, right? Uh, this is kind of what I was just talking about, right? You come down to the value area low. This is not where you get bearish, but this is where you get bearish right here on that bearish retest. Now you're getting that 10-hour red dot probably going to be likely that you get a big, uh, you know, somewhat of a move to the downside here. Uh, but you do have these lows down here that may be able to hold you up, but that is going to be your last straw. Zoom out just a bit here. And I mean, this is actually very similar to Bitcoin, right? Uh, this actually looks much more similar to Bitcoin where you basically have uh, your value area high of one range right up against your value area low of the next range, right? So with a little bit of a gap in between. So basically... 
this is the level you don't want to lose. I would say if you start losing 94 cents, this is where you're likely, right? If you come down, start losing this level, that's where you're likely going to fill this, uh, fill this, uh, kind of just fill this whole range and come all the way back down to about 78 cents, right? Uh, so that is what I would be looking for. Uh, and we are basically sitting at that level almost right now. So uh, with that 10 hour, that 10 hour red dot may be able to push you lower, but that's the key level I would watch, right? Uh, you know, 94 cents. If you get below 94 cents and get accepted back into this value area, I would expect to move down to about 78 cents. At uh, Yeah, I would expect uh, eventually to get a move down to 70 cents if you don't get a bounce off your POC at 91 cents. So uh, essentially, that's your key level. Doorway to lower prices is 94 cents on Matic. There you go. Red dot on the 10 hour would indicate a move to the downside. Eight hour looking for the red dot as well. And then your five and four hour obviously have red dots printing, um, which is obvious, right? Because uh, that's how it is on everything else. Surprise, that's not a blood diamond, if I'm being honest. Uh, five hour, there's the blood diamond. I was going to say, uh, I was expecting that to be a blood diamond. So blood diamond on your five hour as well would indicate that you may likely uh, break below that key level. Uh, but yeah, I would, uh, I would be careful there. Uh, so there you go. There's Matic. And let's go ahead and take a look at Caspa. And, oh, God, we're running a little bit late here. I'm going to run through Caspa real quick. Oh, God. What do I want to look at? Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we'll look at, uh, I guess we'll look at that MEXC chart. Okay. Here we go. So remove all our drawings here. Take a look at the daily. Daily green dot confirmed. Money flow kind of coming out here. Did you get a golden pocket retest here? Is that what that was? Excuse me? Uh, probably this golden pocket. There it is. Getting the golden pocket retest. I'd be careful here, guys. I'd be careful. Uh, yeah, if you start getting rejected here, that may just, right? A lot of times we talk about these bounces back up into the local golden pockets is a lot of times where price likes to come down retrace, make lower highs into the uh, golden pocket slash 786 before continuing to the downside, right? In which case, I would watch this level as support. Let's pull a fib. Pull it from that wick to the high. That's where we're bouncing from. 786, pretty decent confluence there. I'll draw this as a range. There we go. I'd look at, uh, yeah, I would look here for some support. Yeah, these are the levels I would look at, right? Let's pull a little bit of volume here. Okay, so now we have context, right? We are getting a bounce off the local golden pocket. We are also holding support on the value area low and currently testing the golden pocket slash POC. So in order to get a bigger move up to potentially revisit that value area high at 0.035917 cent, I don't know how to read those numbers ever. I don't know how to say it in a digestible way. Because if I say three cents, it's very inaccurate because this is also three cents. 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 And so is this, right? So uh, I got to read it out exactly the number, and that is 0 0.035993 cents, I guess. So there you go. I'll let you guys screenshot those levels. Uh, but if we are going to get a move up to that level, we have to flip that point of control to support. And if we do, it would actually be likely that we would get a move up to that value area high. But we have to decisively flip that level to support, that point of control slash local golden pocket. If we get a rejection here, I would expect that move to come back down to your value area low. Coming in at about 0 0.025322 cents. Uh, so I would just kind of treat this as a range. And then once you lose this range, that's where I'd look down uh, to the golden pocket. If you lose the golden pocket, that's where I'd look for a pretty quick move down to this level at 0 0.016486 cents. Little bit of a gap in between, as you can see. Uh, so just be aware of that. Maybe a quick move through this level uh, because of the lack in volume. Uh, and then, again, your daily green dot is confirmed, but VWAP is looking to cool off. 10-hour red dot looking to print. Six-hour red dot looking to print. Money flow looking good, though. Five-hour red dot looking to print. Four-hour red dot looking to print. Yeah. Uh, pretty interesting here. Kind of mixed signals here. Not going to lie. Uh, so be careful of some ranging. But those are the levels I would look at on CASPA uh, with context, right? With context. You're basically just in that sideways range, right? 
So doorway to higher prices is the POC. Doorway to lower prices, I would say, is the loss of that bottom of this golden pocket. Money flow crossing over into the green on the four hour. So that would be a decent sign. Uh, but with all that being said, said hey, yo, shout out to Brad Guidel. He said pre-send. Hmm. Uh, shout out to you, bro. Uh, shout out to Quinn. We'll see you later, bro. Caspa going live on Uphold tomorrow. Oh, baby. Incoming pump? Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks, Frankie. Bouncing for the day, guys. See you tomorrow. Shout out to Crypto Yogurt. Thank you so much for all the support today, bro. We appreciate you, man. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Shout out to uh, Refamon. Says, I am joining back. I'm going to join back. I was in the mountains getting my charting zen. Let's go. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, Day Digital said, pre-send for the win. I have a golden pocket. Shout out to Kurt Eichler. Uh, let's see. Eight more likes and we will... Pretend you will pretend you a hat. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, shout out to Creighton C. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that is all the time we got for tonight's live stream. Uh, finally, somewhat of an exciting uh, – some exciting price action. Some pr exciting price action has been a little bit brutal lately. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull up that wheel of pain and pleasure. How many likes did we wind up getting – Oh, God, 751 likes, guys. I think that's the first time we hit a like goal in, like, a month. All of April has been absolutely brutal for this channel. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but shout out to the 752 people who like the stream. I guess we're going to have to spin the wheel 15 times, right? No, 550 was – oh, uh, well, yeah. So it's going to be 15 times because we hit 550, but we didn't hit 850. Did I say 850 or 750? All uh, right. Well, good thing this stream's recorded because it's all, uh, we got receipts now. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll just go back and watch it. Uh, but we do get 15 spins. So let's go ahead and spin that wheel of pain and pleasure. Here we go. Spin numero uno. And uh, shout out to Dave Digital for calling out pre-send. As you guys know, this channel is now not only sponsored by Market Cypher. Shout out to Crypto Face. Still sounds weird to me to think that Crypto Face sponsors us. It's like full circle uh, moment in my life. But uh, this, this channel is also sponsored by Presend, guys. Presend is a Chrome extension that will help you double check your transaction details in the background without you having to actually look and copy your wallet address and check the last four digits and or, or whatever characters of your wallet address. You don't have to double check what chain you're sending to because if you accidentally send to the wrong chain or mess up your address, the transaction simply won't go through. I know I'm sick of, of doing those double checks. Definitely check out presend.io uh, and uh, yeah. Go ahead and check them out if you guys are sick of making those double checks uh, when you're sending your crypto. And if you send as much crypto as me, it does become a pain in the tuchus. Uh, But yeah, shout out to Presend for sponsoring the channel. We appreciate you guys. And uh, oh, God, first giveaway got rugged. Let's go. I mean, this thing is so rigged in your favor to win these giveaways. I don't even know how we get rugged on them anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, put up that hat in front of the camera, please. Oh, hey. Of course. Of course I could do that, bro. Of course I could do that. I could even take the hat off because I just got a fresh cut. Let's go. There you go, bro. There's that hat. This one is super old. I've been wearing this one for, this one's, uh, you know, game worn for about, you know, a couple months now. Uh, but there you go. Leather, uh, genuine leather patches. I made sure of that. Uh, Tony D's probably hated me when we were looking for these patches because we kept looking at them. I'm like, it's not real leather. It doesn't smell like real leather. We need real leather. We're not giving out fake leather. Uh, but these are real leather. And it smells like leather, and it ages like leather, and it tarnishes like leather. And this is a real Richardson 112 hat, high-quality stuff. This is not cheap drop-shipping uh, garbage, right? This is, like, real quality stuff here. Uh, and we have them in a bunch of different colors. They are now available on hitmerch.com. If you guys are interested, go check it out. You can cop one of these hats. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. Um, I, I think that's what you wanted. <laughs> He's like, why is this guy holding his hat up? That's not what I meant. Uh, let's spin that ratchet wheel. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Shout out to Jessica, our female Candle Mafia representative. Thank you for being here, Jessica. We do appreciate you. Uh, let's see. If you send me your crypto, I'll double it and pre-send it back to you. Uh, Creighton, uh, is there somewhere I can send you my crypto so you can double it and send it back to me? I'm kidding. I really, I shouldn't joke about that. Yo, what is going on? Hang on, guys. Hang on. Am I going to have to rig the wheel again? Hey, Do we seriously just... Yeah, that's not good. That's not good enough. Uh, I'm taking this off. 
There we go. Now it's even more rigged. Uh, hey, Jason Casper with a $100 super chat. Hey, shout out to Jason Casper, bro. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you for the super chat. He says, you're the man, Frankie. No, Jason Casper, you're the man, bro. Thank you for being here, man. Shout out to you. Bro, what do you think about this pump and dump? Let me know. What do you think that was, bro? You think it was Mount Gox? Let me know. It's a uh, super exciting price action, at least. Thank God. That 20-day range, man. I, I like PTSD from this 20-day range on Bitcoin. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, guys. I like the ranges. I like trading the ranges. But this range, this range was, uh, I was sick of this one. I didn't even care. I didn't care I was making money. I was like, just get me out of this range. And now we're back in the range, which is kind of a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Jason Casper, bro. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really do appreciate you, bro. We got to get a collab in soon, bro. For real. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Dave said Casper made Casper made the market dump. I saw him do it. Oh no, Casper is Casper the bear? Casper is the bear. I don't know, man. I got liquidated today on stream. Shout out to Jason Casper. Uh, yeah, bro, brutal, brutal, dude. My my longs were up so much, and uh, yeah, I, I'm, I didn't get liquidated, but uh, I mean, it just ate all my gains. It was uh. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, you know, obviously, I know Jason knows this, but anyone out there leverage trading knows uh, how quickly you can go from in the green to in the red is uh, is absolutely insane. It's like, oh my god, I'm rich, and it's gone. Wow, how that happened so fast. Yo, guys, this wheel right now is trolling. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Well, shout out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yo, shout out to David uh, The range was painfully boring Yes, absolutely It was insane, man Insane uh, Yeah, I don't know How my long's doing right now It's like uh, Yeah, the worst thing The worst thing for me Is when I'm on stream And uh, And like I'm not paying attention To my trades And I'm looking at altcoins Or something And then Bitcoin dumps And I get wrecked uh, And then I get off my stream And I'm like Yeah, everything should be good And I check my trade And I'm like, great I'm wrecked <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hey, shout out to Kurt Eichler. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, let's go. He says, I like it. I love your energy, bro. I love your energy, man. Let's go. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, man, that dump was insane. And bro, Jason, if you're still in here, bro, bro, I didn't even really see the, I didn't even see a setup for that short, dude. I, I was, you know, I, I was looking, but yeah, I had some levels, but uh, yeah, that's what kind of what makes me think it might be that Mont, Ga Mont Gaux, that Mount Gox stuff, uh, is because there really was nothing technical that was screaming an aggressive dump like that. At least that I saw. I don't know if you saw anything, but, uh, yeah, I saw that dump and I was like, I mean, maybe a correction. We got a big rip, but I did not think, I did not think that, uh, it was going to be that much, much of a monster dump. I was like, okay, cool. Little correction. And then I checked my phone again. I was like, oh, we're wrecked. There goes my longs. Sick. Awesome. <laughs> oh God. Uh, let's see, uh, boom, there we go, how many giveaways, are we getting, we're getting wrecked on these giveaways, right, oh no, there we go, okay, it's picking back up, I had to rig it a little bit, all right, let's see, let's see, uh, bada boom, bada boom, Jason is a true G, absolutely, bro, absolutely, I gotta, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if you're still in here, Jason, bro, but I, but I've made a vouch to go back to the gym, bro, I might have to hit you up for a routine, Cause I don't, whatever you're doing, bro. Whatever you're doing is working. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. We got two more spins, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, five giveaways. There we go. Give them another giveaway, baby. Let's go. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, bada boom, bada boom. Let's go. Epidemic outrage said Jason and Frankie are the best TA on the internet. Let's go. Shout out to you, man. Uh. <laughs> no way shout out to cody codes jason's dad was shouting you out on his show earlier no way that's lit if that's real somebody send me that clip somebody send me that clip that'd be lit uh all right guys i think that's all the time we got for tonight's live stream we got one two three four five six. Oh wait hang on hang on hang on we got one more spin we got one more spin i almost rugged you guys on that one the wheel is broken a hundred percent guys the wheel is 100 percent broken let's go shout out to brad guy dell let's get it the farming workout, yeah, honestly, it's probably a pretty good workout. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six giveaways, guys. That I think is the worst the wheel has ever done. And I rigged it. I rigged it in your in your uh, uh, in your I rigged it in your favor, and we still got wrecked. 
Uh, but there we go. We got plenty. We got 780 likes. I appreciate everybody for tuning in and smashing that like button. Uh, Bitcoin Ronin said, leverage trading is the biggest roller coaster ever. Rich to poor in 2.2 seconds. Absolutely, bro. I could not agree with you more. And with all that being said, guys, shout out to the Candle Mafia. Shout out to everybody who tuned in and stuck around till the end of the stream. I appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm not just saying that. I truly do mean it. Thank you all for being here. And with all that being said, guys, that's all the time we got for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow, same place, same time, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right after ATB. Shout out to my boy, DZ. Let's cross our fingers and hope we don't get another one of those random, crazy, unpredictable dumps. And uh, hopefully I don't get liquidated too. Uh, but hey, if we do, we'll be back for the next pump. With all that being said, guys, same place, same time. You know where to find me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's all I got. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong.